Maybe it's Ad and Clear. Hey, hey guys, check. welcome to Jim Grim. Oh, I hit Ad and, and then I hit Roof. And his okay. merry I band I of hit add again and then clear. folks um, playing his game. Check your add, add, short. add, and then. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. And then whisper. <laughs> yeah, you had saying. eight ranks of, of short sword, so I think what it did, that's basically an, an undo button. RMC, and he's got Shadow World that he's basing this in. I am playing a high man slash bear tribe druid named Varla. And Drawing my... Uh... There you go. Uh, returning. Uh, Throwing your Mjolnir. Your Folex. Yeah, Folex. Hold on. Okay, so after I do that, that's it for the leveling. Oh, how do I? Where do I change the names of the things you were saying? Oh, just open law? your skill. <laughs> just open the skills tab. Yeah. And then um, you can either click on the line of the skill and edit it there, or you can click on right. Uh, not right click. Sorry. sorry, click on the red icon next to a skill. And you can edit it in the box. Ah, easier. Perfect. Whatever makes your life m more better. Yeah, this is this is better. How do you whisper to the GM? The tower. Um, you can right-click on the tower, and then oh, where the GM lives. Okay. Yeah. Slash W space GM. WGM. Okay. So just like a character name. Yep, I'm just a character in the in the world, just like you. But I'm I'm GM. Okay. Maybe All right. Who wants, to, who wants to uh, give us a recap of uh, what you guys did or didn't do last week, or would you like me to do it? I'm all for the GM recap. I know Kamal really? likes it when I do things. Yeah. Oh God, watch. <laughs> okay, listen up and learn. <laughs> go ahead, do it. What could go wrong? <laughs> So the PCs were walking through the forest on their way to Grandma's house last week. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> when they uh, found themselves checked. standing on top of a couple of boulders overlooking what uh, looks like a field of death, multiple bodies of animals and uh, different kinds of peoples uh, lying in the grass. And a a bear that was dead and yet still moving uh, and covered in in some kind of a disease, you suspect? Mm -hmm. um, since you realized it wasn't undead when the morning sun struck it, uh, Kamau decided that he hates bears more than anything except <laughs> church doors, and he was going to kill it. So he overhanded his axe uh, hit the bear in the shoulder uh, and the axe magically flew back to his hands. It got the attention of the bear as well as every other well, half the dead bodies laying in the grass all began to rouse themselves as one and began a slow plod towards you. We are born. Uh, you managed to kill them all and you decided that you were all very tired and hungry, which was probably the right call, and you went back to camp. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Aiko led with her stomach and complained how hungry she was mm. and browbeat the poor slave girl into getting her a frog to eat. Pardon. I asked nicely. <laughs> <laughs> you beat her nicely. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I but asked the her nicely. <laughs> the plan was to... Um, pick up your horses, your gear, uh, your two non-player characters, who are obviously incredibly important, and you brought them back to um, the place where you had just slaughtered uh, several very innocent zombie-like things. Innocent. When uh, you were investigating, uh, you searched the body of a person and you discovered that he was carrying uh, very few things, but he had two map cases 
uh, and there were two magical scrolls in each case. And uh, Nino, who became bored, um, she managed to find a door. Right. The door is old, obviously old. The wood is somewhat warped, um, but the door is sturdy. It no longer completely fits the stone frame that it's set into. It doesn't have a handle or any obvious way to open it, but uh, there is a hole with no glory about the size of a roll of quarters <laughs> on one side of the door. Um, around the outside of the door uh, are a variety of etchings into the stone, and there were some words in the stone that I don't have in front of me. Okay. Uh, hold on, I might... Yeah, it was an ominous message. Why didn't I write it down? I think, I think it was ominous. Was... I think it was friendly. Tread not the paths of the dead. Damnation to all who enter. You will be cursed to remain here forever. Right. I'm right. Th that that's right. It was a friendly message. I hope you're welcome. <laughs> Lore. And I believe, unless anyone else has any questions or comments or things that they want to address, um, we are probably ready to begin. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. <clears throat> cool. Then, um, good luck. Don't roll uh, a zero one followed by a double zero and hopefully you won't all die i hope you didn't just jinx us rocks fall would i do that yeah <laughs> would i do that on purpose Perception. maybe <laughs> less likely okay well you know i'll take take what i can get let me carefully select my dice real quick all these important things <laughs> they're very important um, because last week, ugly? just bad roll after bad roll. Last okay. week, your rolls horrible. were actually really, really terrible. They yeah. were so, awful. Oh, my God. Yeah, I will say that. Okay, we're going to go with these. One swim. <clears throat> All right. And somewhere, uh, and I don't see it, but somewhere in the... Uh, top of the menu there is a button or at least there used to be mm -hmm. it was a downward pointing arrow and if you want to you can make the map um, depending on how much screen real estate that you have you can make it your backdrop of your screen so it goes underneath your character sheet and all that kind of good stuff oh that's cool hmm. yeah but i can't find it now either they removed it which i doubt hmm. i should i'm trying i'm trying Oh, martial arts. Um, I think it's the arrow, the double-ended arrow. Let's mm -hmm. sweep rank one. Oh, okay. I Six. What did I just do? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it used to be a feature, and maybe it will come back. Don't know. Locked, hmm. public, open, help, minimize. Nope. Whoa. All right, well, pretend I didn't say that then, because I'm sure it was there at some point, but apparently it, it no longer is. That um, view mode toggle camera is kind of cool. It's a feature that I don't think they've fully implemented yet, but it's meant for it 3D potential. maps. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, I think we just lost Brian. Mm-mm. At from the call. Increase size beside the close button. Did we lose Brian? It's increased size. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. I heard a da dong, so he might have he might have vanished. Okay. He is in fact not in chat. Can you all hear me again? Yep. Yeah. I hear you. Their fucking Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. 
the button's still there, and you keep talking. I'm like, the button? Oh, God damn it, you just can't hear me. <laughs> so I go we could. All of the microphone, uh, all the microphone settings, and then just sit down Discord and restart. Nice. Welcome back, Ryan. Yeah, at um, some the, point, it just died. Yeah. The one thing that I don't have on the map, and that's because uh, no one has ever provided me with a good token for it, unfortunately, are um, your various pack horses loaded up with your gear. Okay. Okay. There's a dead it guy. It is uh, mid morning. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a nice day. It's not raining. The ground is still wet. The grass is wet as it's been raining for several days. Um, there is that fancy door. And if I remember correctly, there are still some um, dead bodies that are laying in the field, but they never became animated, right? Correct. And they, they're really uh, decayed. They're very decayed, yeah. Okay. Some of them are even just uh, skeleton, skeletal remains laying in the grass. Okay. We're back in the mushy field by the door. So we have a hole in the door that is roughly the size of a roll of quarters. Yep, and it's off to the left side. Off to the left. Middle left side, where perhaps a doorknob should be, but there isn't one. Okay. Middle right, you mean? Nope, middle left. Okay, last time I thought you said right. Okay. No, 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 I would never say right. I would say left. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess now that I know I have a, a uh, specialization in my lore, is there anything that I can glean by using my my lore culture? Um, I sent you a. I saw that you changed it. I made a roll, and then I sent you a private message. Oh, uh oh. Oh, I see that. Okay, I'm reading now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. And this is what I can, this is what I understand by looking at the pictures on the door? Um, that's what you gain, well, you know that the writing on the door was identified as being Zorian. Okay. So presumably, oh. uh, however, there could be a, a baby dragon uh, buried in there, you don't know. Baby dragon. Ooh. Hey guys, you know, <laughs> you said that this is Zorian, yeah? Well, as far as I can remember, <laughs> um, the Zorians, they believe that after you die, your body is basically just a shell, right? But they have these really elaborate burial ceremonies. And, uh, you know, I've heard from a couple of burglar friends of mine that they, they bury their dead in these really elaborate tombs for Oops, the afterlife. That's where the door is. Yeah. Hmm, this must be a tomb of the silt. Never mind. But <laughs> it's probably filled. <laughs> With tons of wealth and treasures, so uh, this could be a. Uh, These this... tombs are usually dangerous as well. Well, I, I mean, guess if we've, you're not careful. We've seen corpses living, True. moving around. But we got rid of all the, all the troublesome ones. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, my uh, my point is that we might be separated by a fair bit of wealth by this door. I wonder if it has any connection to the dead out here. That's kind of my feeling, too. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Since this is the only thing in this area <laughs> we haven't investigated... Maybe we should check it out. <laughs> I like your thinking, yes. We didn't look over all the bodies, I say to the GM, more than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start looking over the rest of the bodies mm. real quick. Okay. I am also going to go towards the bodies, but I'm going to cast a spell that I considered casting last week and then didn't because it's not a combat spell. spell. Mm. Uh, Fair enough. I want a cat. Not that one. Uh, it doesn't. That one does not go off then. Not the face. Not the face. It's not in that one. 
Definitely the face. An exorcism. Right? Uh, detect undead. Ooh. Ooh. So uh, it has a 10 foot radius. Within uh, 30 feet of me. Oh, so 10 feet per level? No. It, it, yeah, sorry. 10, 10 feet per level is the range. And then okay. the area of effect is uh, 10 foot radius. Okay. Uh, nope. That's, well, I guess that is what I want to get. <clears throat> oh, and it's one minute per level, so I can move the effect. I can move it around five feet uh, around. I can detect the presence of undead in that area. So I, I basically I want to cast this to see if these are, as far as my god is concerned, dead. <laughs> is it like Sounds a Geiger good. counter? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Mm, let's do that. So if we're going to investigate this, maybe the horses, Wolf Ear, Trava should stay back up here. Uh, Does Wolfier have any abilities that might help us here? Nope. Treva uh, shakes her head and she, she uh, obviously uncomfortable, says, this, this is madness. There is nothing to be gained here. We, sh we should be moving on the road. <clears throat> the only guess... thing you find in places like this is, is death. Your death. Someone else's death. Terrible things. Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to this work in the door. The Vistiani know these door. things very well. Death mm -hmm. is a constant companion with my people. Better to be free on the road than die in a place like this. Wait. Oh, sorry, that was... Uh... I uh, signed to Nino that she's uh, not Nino, but uh, Drava's free to leave whenever she wants. I kind of chuckle. And I walk over to the door and I see if I can smell anything through the door hole. <laughs> the door hole. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to see if I can appraise this treasure. I'm going to go to the door hole and go. Quality of the. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Detect. <laughs> uh, would you like to make a perception you. check in the uh, in, the, um, in the tower? Tower, please. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Perception. Certain poopery. Poopery. Okay. Oops, I don't mean to do that. You know, I'm putting you over by the door. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there are no particular smells coming from the the door. Uh, okay. The field itself, where you were, um, was the uh, very noticeable smell of death from okay. the animals and the the uh, bodies rotting in the grass. Mm -hmm. But from the door itself, uh, you don't smell anything unusual. Okay. Can I just relay back to the group? It's probably buried deep. I can't smell anything from here. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> what? For what it's worth, uh, there is also no draft or anything coming out from underneath the door. Oh. Or between the cracks. Okay. Peering, before, uh, peering between the on. cracks in the wood, um, it's dark beyond the door. Okay. Does it have, like, remove curses or diseases abilities? I look at the paladin. I don't, but he might. <laughs> And then I look at the druid. She might. Oh, wait a minute. I might, actually. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, I'm back over here doing this detect undead thing, maybe. No, that's good. Uh, sorry, I was about to get back to you. Um, okay. Roll to see if your spell goes off. Um, assuming that you have plenty of time to cast it and you're not... Uh, uh, you're not trying to force it out super quick or anything. It, it just a standard spell roll, open-ended D100. It fails on a zero one or a zero two. Ooh. 
Everybody's getting cool dice now. <laughs> it is a free cool hey. dice, though. I'm not spending money. <laughs> the spell goes off. I'm the same. Uh, the spell starts immediately around you. And uh, there is at least one body that you've slain uh, that's near you that you, you guys have... Uh, I believe it, it received a pole axe to the face. And... It does not seem to be undead to you. Oh. And I was going to say, I am going to be beheading other ones as I am looking at them. Okay. That's a good idea. I'm going to try one of the corpses that we did not kill. Okay. I wish we still had one of those moving ones. Mm -hmm. So far, these are not undead. That may be because they're just dead dead. Extra dead. Do I have to roll anything for these coup de gras? No, not at all. How many of them are there? Um, I believe you guys killed eight. So say there's about 20 total. All right, I get to work. Okay. Pull their heads away from their bodies and put them in a pile. Sir Morgan, do you have any kind of undead lore? Uh, surprisingly, I don't. I've just got church lore. Bummer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I looked last week too. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? That would have been a good thing to have. Definitely. Yeah, next level. <laughs> Maybe. You're learning lots right now. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find a stick on the ground somewhere and poke it through the hole in the door. One try. Well, mind. looking <laughs> through the um, looking into the hole, um, you can see small wooden pegs that are rounded at the end, um, mm -hmm. poking into the hole from different directions. Oh. Um, can With I... With your skill set, you yeah. think this is probably some kind of extremely complex lock? Yes. But it's made of wood. Um, can I try to pick lock? You can. Yes. It's an extremely hard lock to pick. You've never seen anything like this before. Okay. Do you have lock lore? Um, I do. I need lock lore. Probably I've got... make it easier. It can give lock. you a bonus to your picking. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I do not have lock lore. I only have pick locks. <laughs> yeah, next level. Oh, oh lord. <clears throat> okay. So before I pick it, though, I. I look at it. Would I okay? Would I recognize it as being a complex lock? I guess you just described that I would. Only because you've got ranks in uh, picking locks, you think this is probably um, it's probably some kind of very, very amazingly well designed lock. But oh, it's made of wood. Okay. But what so... you're imagining is. Um, some kind of uh, not a regular key would go into this. Maybe it's like a cylinder with holes in it or something. Right. Okay. So then, <clears throat> that like would... a flute. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. So then, that would lead me to believe that I would need some sort of like cylindrical thing that I could carve into. Um. So if I do this, is it just a straight up? Uh, pick locks roll with the it's, added knowledge from Barla. Um, it's a straight up pick locks roll with the extremely hard button clicked. Okay. <clears throat> I try. So after an enlightening conversation with Barla, I say, that is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me an idea. Okay. And I roll. Oh, that 90 was there. Nice job. 
Oh. Wow, you did it even with an extremely hard roll? Seriously. Oh, oh. Wait, did I click it? I did click it! <laughs> <laughs> That's a Damn. level. Just by I, itself. I just didn't think that was going to happen. Who knew that? <laughs> After last week? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, you have thoroughly impressed yourself. You had to get a, just about every thieves tool you could all <laughs> wedged into that little hole pushing different pins out of the way <laughs> but when you finally got like the sixth pin uh pushed away um you hear a clunk of a bar on the other side oh falling oh and okay it, so it my eyes the... get really big and i gasp and go <gasps> <laughs> and when you do that you realize no one was around to see you do it Oh, the river bank. <laughs> I'm skipping a stone across the undead water. I don't know. I'm pretty perceptive. I'd like to roll perception on that. <laughs> and I'm in tune with Nino's act. Oh, uh, I am facing that way. That's true. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. No, at least one of us was. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I'll help to try and look and be an audience. Okay. All right. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Aren't skipping rocks. I think I broke a nail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before I do anything with the, with the door, I kind of skulk over this way, and I just say, "Guys, hey guys, guys, <laughs> get everyone's attention." Uh, I I think I managed to breach the door. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> And I wiggle my eyebrows at Barla. So, uh, what do you think? Should we go in? That is no small feat, little one. <laughs> How long has this actually taken? I nod in approval. Okay. It, it, uh, <laughs> uh, an extremely hard lock would have taken upwards of five minutes. Wow. Right. Okay. Then my spell is not happening anymore. Oh, Aww. if if there's something else that you wanted to do with it, uh, I apologize for moving on. Um, no, 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 no. I, I I was just checking the corpses. We've basically confirmed that they were not undead. I was thinking if three more. that hadn't taken five minutes, I could still maybe use it to uh, like at the entrance of the door. Ah, uh, so it is it is well beyond time for that. I see. I will. Um, I'm I'm fine assuming that you saw Nino at work. Um, you approached the door and extended the spell through the door, but um, you got nothing. <clears throat> oh, okay. There is no undead immediately on the other side of the door or in the space beyond, as far as you can tell. Or at least up to, what was it, 30 feet? Okay. We need to get rid of one more. All right. So who wants to go first? Uh, uh, have well, I finished I uh, beheading the people, I assume? Things? If I haven't finished beheading them, I'm going to keep beheading them. Yeah. Uh, no, I would assume that um, between uh, all your efforts, say that took 10 minutes. So yeah, you're, you should be done. Okay, good. Especially with that full axe. You can just send it out Two, to collect four, heads. Five. Six, six, I've uh, I've got a sword, a shield, and chain shirt. I, I'm quite willing to go first. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna take out my uh, my sword, I guess. Um, I'll go behind Morgan, but kind of also use him as a as a stealth shield as well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to come over. I guess I want to see the inside layout and see if my poleaxe actually makes sense or not. <clears throat> um, there. Does someone wish to open the door? Oh, mm -hmm. sure. Yep. Who would that lucky contestant be? Oh, boy. Wait, do we have any... What was it that the, the, uh, thing, the lintel above the door said? <clears throat> Things coming. Speak, friend. <laughs> and enter. <laughs> Tread not the paths of the dead. Damnation to all who enter. You will be cursed to remain here forever. Oh, right. 
Was anyone? Oh yeah, that's right. We all can read it. Um, uh, no, actually, it's only written in Zorian. But I sent yeah. the, the message out in non-Zorian, thinking, "Oh, I can just cut and paste this." No, nope. right. I, I, I can read Zorian, so I have read it to everyone. You did. Oh, okay. Oh, I can read or speak Zorian, not read. Oh, that's interesting. Do do do. You you know conversational Zorian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Zorian for dummies. So are we absolutely positive we want to go in? Everybody. I sign. Uh, have we looked for traps? Um, that I was trying to see if I had the ability to do that. I look at you, and I I um, shrug. Um, is there anything like detect <laughs> traps in this game, or would that be a perception roll? Uh, I believe that's just a straight-up perception roll. In previous versions, there has been a detect trap skill, but I don't think there is in this, so I think it's just a straight-up perception roll. Okay. Uh, let, like me check. With that. let me check your skills really quick. Does having the skill for building traps help with detecting traps at all? Yes, there is a detect trap skill. Oh, there is. Okay. Yep, it's under D for detect traps. <laughs> no, oh shit I have it it's right here <laughs> hilarious alrighty then um, I would like to use that skill before we uh, push the door open okay um, do I need to add any modifiers to that nope you just have to roll that skill in the tower okay why the tower high rolls high rolls Where are you getting that from, Jim? On load? Uh oh. Did I just get booted? Nope. Oh, okay. My computer made this really pretty noise. <laughs> that was me sending you a message. Oh, was it really? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a message for <laughs> All caps. Oh. This is a whisper. Okay. And so. I look at everyone, I, I say, um, well, as far as I can tell, guys, it looks like we're good. Oh! Uh, before before the group uh, disappears, Wolfier says, so um, what do you want me to do with the horses? Uh, make sure nothing eats them. We look at Treva. <laughs> <laughs> um... All right, then he uh, he points to the clearing over here. Okay. And he says, all right, I'll, I'll make a camp over here. And, uh, we'll wait for you. All right, Wolfier's not mm. coming with us, huh? Uh, he has to make sure that Treva doesn't eat the horses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Treva's Man. going on really. She does I, have uh, a red I pet board. Ash a whole bunch. Aww. I don't think this is her, like, natural habitat, so I'm going to get her to stay out here, and I'll give her the command to defend. Okay. I pet Asha, too. Bye, Asha! Asha's tail wags back and forth, and she sits down in the grass and uh, faces the door. Mao, you said you also wanted to check the door? Yes. Okay. Detect traps in the tower, please. Well, I don't have to uh, detect traps. This uh, That was before you had suggested that there was a actual skill for it. Uh, yeah, you can you use perception. just a straight-up perception if you would like. Um, you would just be at minus 50. Wow. I'll take it. I'll do it. Minus 50, you say? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, and you want that in the tower, you said? Uh, yes. Uh, 
you uh, put your face down to the door, uh, and the door seems uh, remarkably sturdy uh, for its age. Uh, the iron bolts that hold the wood together are still in place, even though they streak the wood. But everything is solid, and nothing is out of place. You don't think it's trapped either. I uh, nodded, Nina. Okay. I said, well, that, that's an all, that's two all goods. <clears throat> then I take a couple steps back. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's I faith should, right there. I'm supposed to bring up the rear. <laughs> all right. I uh, push open the door. Okay. I say a uh, prayer to my God. Uh, that would have been you, a good idea. <laughs> you push on the door, but it is stuck fast against the stone. You realize it's a pull door. Oh. And uh, I pull on the door. <laughs> I have the seen door this open. mistake in the past. It is okay. <laughs> the hinges are on the right-hand side. Um, but beyond is a narrow corridor. It's about three feet wide. It is, however, about seven feet tall, oh, and it's cut directly into the stone. That's the boring. sides are smooth, not polished, but it was cut uh, very, very deliberately, and it seems to be a uniform length all the way down. Um, looking in, you can see in um, a few feet because of the daylight from the sun uh, coming in through the entrance. Mm -mm. It doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. You can see old looking cobwebs um, sitting in the corners uh, between the wall and the ceiling. Mm. And dust on the floor? <clears throat> the floor is uh, covered in a mix of uh, gravel, dirt, and grit. You can see the floor uh, very plainly, uh, but it's not, it's certainly not swept clean in any way. The floor itself is a mix of uh, stone and dirt. Oh, I guess uh, it might be a good idea as we go farther in to see if... Does anyone have a light source? I have a lantern. Okay, that works. I think... Let's see. I have a candle. Can I cast mm -hmm. um, night vision on myself? Yes. Uh, night vision will allow you to use any uh, available light source, even as small as a candle. Um, and you, a candle would make it like twilight for you. A lantern would make um, almost everything uh, like daylight. Okay. Oh, wow. Then that's what I'll do. Woohoo! I'll light All one right. of my torches in the one hand, and I guess I'll have uh, my... How wide did you say the passage is? Three feet. Jeez. It is very narrow. As, well, it's narrow as far as tunnels go. It's like the hallway of your house. The oh, only thing I'm thinking about now is nothing has gone in or out of here in, in quite a while. This might not be the source of the uh, problem. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, uh, I sign to, uh, you know, unless it's radiating something. Leather arm. Um, yeah, that's true. And, um, so I, I mentioned that to the group, and then I say, but also, how long has the problem been going on? Point. Does anyone have detect magic? Or curse? Or anything like that? I can Only detect undead. the presence of a godly magic. Mm -hmm. I didn't see an undead. Let's see... Tomb knowledge? Um, <laughs> tomb knowledge? Yes. I'd like a, a tomb knowledge lore, tomb please. Lore. <laughs> it, but it's written on her sheet. Um, yeah. Nino, do you want to carry my lantern? Sure. So I can have my sword and board out. Absolutely. I like when you have your sword and board out. <laughs> okay. So I, I like to be ready for things. <laughs> I like when you're ready for things. I yeah. can detect godly magic if you would like me to try this, but I don't know if it is worth it right now or not. Do you think I should? Um, 
Should we now, or should we wait until we get farther in? I sign wait. Okay. We wait. All right. Yeah, Kamal says wait as well. Okay, hmm. I shall wait. Okay. I will point out the um, minor problem in that Sir Morgan is a strong, tall, wide warrior of six and a half feet tall, and Nino is a small wayfish uh, girl of five feet tall. So the lantern that she's holding in her hand is not going to work very well for whoever's in front. True. Oh, I'm that tall? I thought I was four feet. You're not a half one. You know what? I'm supposed to be four feet. No, you're not. Am I? You're not? an elf. Okay. Oh, I thought she was a halfling. Nope. No, I'm a wood elf. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's weird. I signed to Nino if she's gonna keep checking for traps, then she, maybe she should be at the front. At the very <laughs> front. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will be right behind you. <laughs> I, I take a big gulp of air and then I, I push past Morgan. <laughs> can gonna... I be um alongside oh. Morgan, Sir Morgan, so that I can like grab Nino and push her back if we need this, to? Uh, this tunnel is thin enough that you will definitely be single file. Single. All right. All right. Okay. I, can, I can stab over Nino's head. Mm -hmm. You can actually. Okay, I'll hunch over a bit too, just to give you more stabby range. Uh, for the record, if you want to strike someone from the second rank effectively, you can do it with any kind of a weapon. You just take a minus 40 penalty. If you have a pole arm or something designed to strike over oh um, through friendly troops, you're only at minus 20. However, uh, a pole arm in such narrow confinement will suffer a massive penalty because using a pole arm also involves. Uh, swinging it back and forth, mm. not just thrusting it uh, like a spear. So before we go any farther then, um, did you tell me at some point that the pole arm cannot fit in the sack of holding? Yes, it is too tall. All right, I will strap it to the um, one of the horses. And um, man, I guess I can't strap it to my own back. It's going to be a um, problem. Not really, no. Yeah, bit of a problem. <laughs> All right, I'll strap it to one of the horses. I'll tell Asha to guard it. And uh, away we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I place it between my teeth and thank you. <laughs> no problem. I'll and then whatever I can get. <laughs> she sees you side eye her and she's like, oh, damn it, I need to do better. <laughs> so, Nino, you are um, you are the one who is uh, going first? Yeah. That's correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. As you... <laughs> GM, As you, you start moving, party Go ahead. sheet. Sorry, there's an order tab on the party sheet if you want to play around with that too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. there I mean, is, and I um, very rarely play with it, but maybe this is a good time to use it. Yeah, no worries. There's a watch order on the left too, just for sleepy. Oh, cool. Nobody uses watch orders. That's dumb. <laughs> I only, I only share. <laughs> I have used it in my other game. Huh. That's cool. Bessie. Oh, I need to give Nino light. And it's a lantern, correct? Yes. Nice. I've got go. a torch lit also. Okay. I'll give you a torch. Um, Torch in the well. off hand, short sword in the main hand. Got it. Nino, as you um, start going down the corridor, the gravel's crunching under your feet. At first, you're very excited about what could possibly be down here based on what you know. 
Mm -hmm. But after um, a few paces, you realize you feel very vulnerable in this narrow hallway. If with so many people behind you, if something happens, you've got nowhere to go. This is true. Um, I go slower, but I keep going. Okay. Can I see in front of us so that I can kind of direct her? I have um, good vision as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. The tunnel is only about um, 30 paces long. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't change uh, width or dimension. It seems like it was all cut very, very uniformly. Okay. There's braces about every 15 feet. And for the most part, it, it seems uh, solid and uh, sturdy. The cobwebs seem very old. As soon as you touch them, uh, they disintegrate, so you can tell that they've been there a while. Uh, your breath causes them just to wave lazily in the uh, in the breeze. Yeah. Um, and you can't hear anything other than the crunching of everyone's boots as you all make your way slowly down the, the passageway. Who's going after Nino? <clears throat> Sorry, who was that? Sir, Sir Morgan with his sword and board. <laughs> brave, brave Sir Morgan. Okay. <laughs> I don't know the definition of fear. <laughs> oh, My sorry. Intelligence is very low. Sorry about Ooh, that, Nino. Hello. My bad. Oh. I was like, why aren't you moving up? Moving on up. Who's that guy? Chester the Tester. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Chester the Tester uh, smiles, uh, waves his hand, and says, "Hey, it's all good. Bye, guys." <laughs> Can you give me that nice? light? I can't see anything. <clears throat> he he's yeah, got bolo vibes. Either. Um, so far, uh, Nino is the only person I've moved onto the map. But if she moves up five feet, I will add uh, Sir Morgan behind her. A lot. <laughs> there. If I can see me at least. <laughs> yeah, but for some reason. Oh, that's why. I moved me. Uh, Sir Morgan is stuck. Oh no, I'm in a wall. I've been there. You are in the wall. I'm like, hey, why yeah. can't it? So let me yeah. just re add you over there. There you are. Okay. I'm going to scooch up a little more as well so friends can join. Okay. Friends. Weird that I still can't see anything. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you can't see anything? Black screen. Let me double check that I gave Nino a light. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, this is what I can see without a light? Nice. I'm pretty sure you've got a light, but on the off chance that you don't. A lantern. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you're right. I didn't do it. Because I'm silly. In there myself. Is that better? Okay. Ah! can see a hallway uh a who uh which of you fine fine and incredibly brave folk wish to uh go next i was gonna go after sir morgan Druid staff is there. Whee! i will proceed farther into the hall i was gonna bring up the rear so i guess varla's next can i also cast light ears Yes, you can. That'll be a D100. Oh, I did night vision too. Do you want me to cast or roll for that? I do indeed. And then just right into the tray. 
Yeah, it doesn't have to be in the tower. There's one. Ooh. There's two. Uh, they both go off. Okay. I think and I wanted you... to let... Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, if you, uh, going forward, if you, um, if you go to your spells tab, the dice for casting are actually on the spells tab. Uh, spells tab. Oh, do you want me to do that? No, uh, the D100 was fine. I'm just, all right. I forgot to tell you that, um, myself, so it's all good. Uh, you're all making your way down, uh, down the... Uh, small hallway. Mm -hmm. I should be behind. Oh, yeah, there we go. Varla. Yep, you're at the. Oh, I didn't add Varla. Yeah. I'm sorry, Varla. I apologize. And Kamal, you said you've got a torch as well? Yes. Open that. Okay. That should be good. There you go. You should have a torch. Nino, you come to a point where the the ground changes to it's actually um, a brickwork kind of a floor, and you realize that you've come to the end after about thirty paces. You you've come to the end of the hallway. Uh, you can see uh, a stone staircase that uh, descends down. It, you've come to some kind of an opening into a larger space. Uh, there's a stone staircase that is. Uh, it's uh, been decorated with some, um, won't, I won't say ornate, but uh, some decorative handrails. And it leads into a, what looks to be like from where you're at, a, a larger uh, burial chamber of some kind. Mm -hmm. But you haven't gotten that close to it yet. And that's because I lost my image. I think. There it is. And I'm wondering if I can share this just with you know. Parchment. Oh. And it... You come across that. Okay. Cooking pot. Um. It's covered in some kind of. It looks like a a light pink powder. Okay. And it. Uh, it doesn't go from edge to edge, but it's set into the floor, obviously. Uh -huh. And uh, while you, it's uh, certainly possible to step over it, you definitely cannot step around it and past it. Okay. <clears throat> um, using my cultural lore, do I have any idea what the symbol might mean? Uh, could you give me a roll in the tower, please? Sure. Where are you, Lord? Here we are. Somebody else bought some cool dice. I didn't buy them, they were free. <laughs> because of the pink powder, you think mm -hmm. that this is purely decorative. <laughs> oh, God, did I roll that badly? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I look at it and go, Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Rape whistle. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. So, so wow. Okay. Stuff. You don't know that for sure, but that's what you suspect. Okay, so All right. So, three, so I'm not an incredibly wise individual anyway. Um, what would have been your character? <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> it's just brian <laughs> so i kind of i kind of stand off to one side and i sort of i audibly start ooing and eyeing at it and go wow that that's really neat and then i start trying to like carefully go around it like i obviously can't you said that there's not enough room for me to to go around it but i can i step like see where that indent is can i, I delicately place my foot there and go past it without actually stepping in the center um 
Yes. If uh, if you wish to, you can uh, step past it without actually touching it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I am going to try to do that. Uh, oh. Sir Morgan, when she leans off to the side, that's why I copied you in on it. You can also see what it is that she's looking at. Oh. Oh, that's... <laughs> That's some kind of thing. <laughs> and I point out the powder to you and I go, look, it's pink. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I recognize this as some sort of religious -y thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, would you like to give me some sort of a religious -y thing roll? <laughs> I would like to do a religious -y thing roll. Does he do this before or after I step over? Definitely after. <laughs> okay. And Church of Orhan. Since you haven't moved your token yet, I'm assuming that you haven't uh, stepped over it yet. Okay. Well, I guess I I gotta commit to what I said. Wee. And I will move up on it. By the way, can you see the pin that I've got on the map, or is that hidden from you guys? Um, that I is hidden. See... Yeah, Perfect. I see any pins. <laughs> it should be but... red if it's hidden and green if it's shown to us. Oh, okay. But then that makes me wonder, why do you have the map pinned? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm willing to bet there are, there are lots of pins. So, um, I just pinned it because that? there's an image associated with that spot. Do you want the lore in chat? No, no. I'll, I think a, a, a lore of this nature should definitely go in the tower. Oh, great. Uh, I thought you might. 28 rods. Five. You have never seen... Oh, actually, you know what? Oh. Boy. Oh, you know what? My intuition is pretty high, though. But my self-discipline is low. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have gone over the symbol. <laughs> um, Nino, yeah, you, don't... you step across it with, um, with absolutely no problem. Okay. Whatever is going on, um, either it was uh it was uh decorative like you thought <laughs> okay oh uh, it's a decorative curse so i i go up the stairs a little bit because i'm curious now because <laughs> okay you know, there's uh, stairs there's got to be treasure up here right <laughs> hold on to that thought um okay. i'm gonna go back to sir morgan oh god yeah because we're next <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i i don't it's not religious this I assume this is some kind of magic thing, but I don't recognize it. Not me. Probably some kind of seal to keep the undead in. Ooh. Three miles. Um. To be honest, I don't want uh, Seven Nino silver, to two uh, Seven silver. Uh, be there alone. So I am also going to attempt to like jump over it without touching it. Okay, oh, move your token right. past it. Yeah, me moving now past it. Now we're stuck in here forever. <laughs> here, I'll make some room. I get all excited and I turn around to, to Morgan and I wave him in like, come on, come on. <laughs> the good part. Okay. Minus 72. Okay, what can I use for a rune skill? The runes skill? The runes skill. <laughs> I don't have any ranks in it. Minus 18. Then, then the answer to your question is unfortunately no. Can I look at it and investigate it, inspect it? See if um, my memory recalls anything about it? No, runes would be the only skill that's applicable here. Hmm. Okay. So but I you, you did see... Um, Sir Morgan step over it with no issues whatsoever. Yeah, so I'm gonna also. 
Oh. Remember. That warning that said we're we're not allowed out. That, that's where this is going to kick in. Right. Remember <laughs> when when I tried to read the scrolls and I did a poor job. Perhaps um, you should move into the room further in. I will uh, try and read it <laughs> <laughs> by myself. I'll switch um, places we've come out. Don't move your. Please, everybody, stay on the staircase. Oh, oh all right. Okay. As the GM snickers. <laughs> no, that's that's just where we're at right now. I'm. That's fine. I haven't even given you guys the description of the room yet. Okay. How do you get behind me? I'll I'll do the dance with you. No, I don't want to do the dance. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to try and read the rune, but um, I would refer prefer you not to be... I'm not actually saying that out loud, because we can't talk. <laughs> well, you can talk. So, he does, you're not letting her pass? I'm not inclined. You're, you're, what are you doing to make it clear to me that you want to pass? Sorry, you can't talk? Yeah, he's... Um, he's it's not mean... exactly the truth, but yeah, for your purposes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will uh, try he to do a... sign language from yeah. what you've seen. Yeah, uh, that's fair then if you haven't spoken yet. I say, uh, excuse me, did you not hear what I said? <laughs> I will I will try and read the rune, but I, I need to get by you to allow you to pass. And All right. I'll, I'll wave in front of your eyes if you're blind too. <laughs> Asha, I'm going to trust Asha's uh, instinct and I'm going to let a letter pass. Okay. Mind, mind the hands. Well, Asha was the one that was. Um... <laughs> well, when we first met, Asha had like zero problem with Varla. That's what I'm trusting. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. I'm gonna look at this circle for a second myself, and I'm gonna use my um, my three different lures just in case it's any of those things. Okay. Am I? Uh, can I roll all of those into your um, dice tower? I yep. just want to make sure it's nothing religious from one of the things I know or etc. That's fine. Uh, for the people that uh, are standing on the staircase, mm -hmm. um, I put the the text into chat, mm -hmm. uh, but you see six plain looking sarcophagi standing amongst the clutter of smashed pottery and glass, uh, overturned urns and broken furniture. However, oh. there's a large sarcophagus at the far end of the room depicting a man riding a horse uh, that appears to have survived the wreckage. A man the walls are made of simple brickwork, brickwork and set into the walls on the right and left-hand sides are uh, a handful of effigies of armored men uh, behind which bodies likely lie in repose. Oh. So you said five cigar sarcophagi? Uh, there are six total. Six, sorry. Seven, counting the one at the far, far end. I move into the room a little tiny bit, and seeing all the wreckage, I I feel really disappointed that somebody beat us to the tomb. <laughs> um, Nino, could you give me a perception roll since you're in the front, please? Water sure. skin free. Whistle. Uh, do you want it in the tower? Um, no, that's fine. Okay. Twenty-five bronze is twenty. Ooh! Yay! As the light comes into the room, uh, you can see the shine of small beady eyes of vermin that scatter from the light as soon as you begin making your way down the steps. Mm -hmm. But what you really notice, and this seems like a very obvious and somewhat clumsy uh, trap based on what you saw of that lock, but on the right-hand side set in the wall of uh, one of these uh, effigies, Mm -hmm. so the cover that covers the niche in the wall where there's likely a body laying in state. You can see what looks like an old looking rope that goes up to a pulley that goes across the ceiling. And it's very obvious to you that if someone should open that niche, there is a, a very old looking wooden, um, I'll call it a portcullis, but it's more of a just a, right. um, an old wooden gate uh -huh. uh, that will fall and block the exit. Um, okay. 
Um, but it's it seems like it's almost clumsy. It's so obvious. Okay. Because you broke 175, uh, mm -hmm. that's called an absolute success. Oh, gee. You also noticed that um, all of the six sarcophagi um, are uh, the lids are ajar. Okay. So someone has obviously beaten you to the prize. Okay. Um. So then. I'm gonna go back to to uh, Varla. Yeah. Actually, I'm going back to Kamau. Are you gonna cross the threshold as well? Sorry. Did those uh, any of those lores determine anything useful? Not a thing. Perfect. I'll mm -hmm. step over. Um. Phil, since I was able to notice the rope, can I just disarm it before everyone else comes into the room? Um, you can. Uh, people are are you're all back to back, so there are people in the room so far, uh -huh. um, and yes, you can disarm it by cutting it and try and lower the the gate manually yourself. It does not look terribly heavy. Okay. Won't okay. you lock us inside? If yes. you do that. But that, that, so then I just need to alert you guys to not touch that rope. Like, that's what I mean by disarming. Either <clears throat> I need to make it so that it's, we're not going to set it off or just let everybody know to not touch it. Brian, I can barely hear you. Hang on. I think Nino muted herself because our dog was barking for no reason. Can you not hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. No, we, we can hear you. I can hear oh. you. Okay. Did you hear what I said a few minute, a few seconds ago? Yep. Yeah, don't, don't okay. Touch the rope. Don't touch the rope. Oh, sorry, you meant Marlo muted herself. Okay. <laughs> yes, not you. Okay. <laughs> oh, did I say Nino? I meant Iko. Yeah. Sorry. It's all the O's. Yeah, Iko <laughs> muted herself because our dog was barking at ghosts for some reason. Oh. Well, you know, it happens. They're pretty. Unfortunately. You. They know we're in the tomb. They do. <laughs> Looted tomb. Um, you can now proceed as you want to, or uh, Varla, if you want to try and assess the rune on the floor, that's fine too. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, skills. As you proceed into the room, um, any remaining rats uh, have no interest in defending any of the trash and litter on the floor, and they disappear into cracks in the walls. Uh, obviously no cheese left in here. No. The table you're walking on has been flipped upside down. Okay. It seems like a fairly plain and simple, um, plain and simple uh, table. The urn that you just passed over, Nino, uh -huh. it's painted and it's decorative, but uh, the contents of it have been spilled onto the ground. Looks like dirt. <clears throat> so would I be able to kind of put together that whatever curse is? they're suffering through outside of this tomb might have been triggered by this tomb being robbed? Uh, that is a reasonable assumption, if that's what you would like to deduce. Yeah. Okay. Can we uh, roll to see if we can match up what happened here in this tomb? Or does it just look like a robbery? Uh, one second. Um, Varla just threw four rolls at me in the tower, and I got to oh, respond to this okay. really quick. Sorry. Yep, yep. Okay. What? Uh, why is the dog barking? I don't know. There's somebody out front. I have her behind the gate. Okay. Uh, what was the other one? Hmm. 
<laughs> Acrobatics. Oh, I forgot about adrenal moves. Damn it. Sorry about that. Uh, Nino, I'm sorry, what was your question? Um, oh, I was just making an observation that um the curse might have been set off like well, the reason why we're seeing all the undead might have been set off because this tomb was robbed but it looks like it was robbed a long time ago <clears throat> hmm. Gesundheit height two three Oh, just one moment. Hold, hold the light, just so. Yes. I just heard something. Did you guys uh, hear that? Hear what? I'm not sure what it is. I'm what gonna. Is that like? Wait. Shh, shh, let me try to listen. Could everyone uh, <laughs> give me a perception roll, please? Tower. Okay. No, nope, not tower? in the tower. Okay. This is a medium roll. Dark inception. Hmm. Oh, almost 90 again. <laughs> we are changing the color. Oh. Oops. Well, apparently that uh, Noah and uh, Nino, you both, uh, you both heard that. Okay. Interesting. I look over Didn't, at Kamal. You definitely heard it, but you're not sure what direction it came from. Oops. Okay. All the echoing off these chamber walls. I can't tell where it came from. <laughs> um. You said that earlier I noticed that the tops of each one of these these caskets were slightly ajar. Yes, they're all they've all been um pushed ajar. Um and you can see because you're close enough. Mm -hmm. Um the one that's immediately in the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner, depending on which side of the room you're closest to. Mm -hmm. Um the caskets are all plain and made of um made of stone, the same kind of stone that the brickwork is made out of. Yeah. They seem to be one piece with a heavy lid, mm -hmm. and inside you can see skeletal remains. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so I just, I make a comment and say, hey, there are still bodies in these caskets. I don't know if they're going to reanimate, but um, yeah, there's people in here. Barla, your roles have come to naught. Okay, Aww. that is okay. I'm learning this rune skill. Oh, do I have a spell? Uh, that I don't know. Symbolic waves. Analyze symbol? <laughs> that sounds like it would work. That's if there's a spell in place. Hmm. Mm. You can't tell if there's a spell in place because of the powder that's filling all the little cracks and crevices. Oh. Interesting. If you if you were is? to uh, blow, the the powder is very fine. It's it could be makeup powder or very fine chalk powder. You're not sure, but if you blow on it, you can probably blow some out of the way if you'd like to see if there's a spell in place. I'll no. wait until oh, no. Kamau <laughs> moves because he would be where the blowing would. I wish to blow. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, shake my head, no. 
Roll to blow. I am asking permission to blow. <laughs> I shake my head. I shake my head now. I hear it is the thing to do nowadays. I don't want to be on... I'm not going to say this, but I signed to Nino or whoever the hell. I go, yeah. whoever can see me. Mm -hmm. Tell her not to. Please oh. don't. Wait until we exit, Marla. Wait until we... Okay, I will wait. Let's let's take a look around here first. There Fair is enough. a definite dragging of metal sound. Oh boy! Like coming from where? That's what we don't know. From the far side of the room, and it doesn't last long. Okay. But does it seem like it's coming from up above us? A nameplate cracks. Dust falls from the ceiling. And one of the stone effigies falls from the floor, from uh -oh. the wall, smashing on the floor. A skeletal body rolls out of one of the niches from where it was interred. You. Oh. Oh. Son of a... Wait, and there's six niches, right? And he didn't appear. Crashing. <laughs> what a lazy, good-for-nothing... No good. You've said that there was Die. only one pin, right? <laughs> okay. Oh! Just... And it it rolls out and it falls to the floor. Okay, I scurry over here and I poke Morgan. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, and go sure. Morgan. Did you see that? <laughs> um, yep. I'm going to remove Wolf here because he doesn't need to be here. And I'm going to remove... Asha, because she doesn't need to be here. Just and for the Treva. Chester. Treva doesn't need to be here. Especially since they're all villains. Oh, and Chester doesn't need to be oh. there either. How far <laughs> can I, can the poleaxe of returning return from again? Uh, you when you throw it. it? In, remember? What's you that? left it outside. You gave it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, listen, listen. Let me ask my question. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> okay. Wait, I know where this is going. <laughs> How far? Answer the question. <laughs> um, when you throw it, the maximum range you is fifty feet. Okay, copy that. We're definitely more than fifty feet. So, are we re-rolling initiative uh, since you reset the round? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> re reset round. All right. Um, yep. Yeah, let's uh, roll those initiatives. Oh. Oops. Why were they erased? Uh, because I reset the round and it, it screws everything up when I do oh. that. Oh. Oh, nice one, Barla. Ooh. I also it... improved my initiative from last round. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting off with our poor, innocent, I was just sleeping, what are you doing bothering me, uh, skeleton. Uh, I guess we have uh, Varla. How would you like to react? <gasps> no. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> there it you blow off a, a chunk of the... Um, pink powder it, it oh, fills over. the air up to your knees and you can certainly see um the shine of red magic filling all of the the letters and characters um that you that you've blown off oh boy oh. it's definitely an active spell in this oh very good arla <laughs> see i i knew it <laughs> i will start prepping a spell and that's me and be trusted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Powder was so now, very little reasoning on this character. No. Um, now is up. And did I not say after? Skeleton, the Petra skeletal warrior is uh, on deck. Yeah. Okay, so on. if I move, what one, two, three, each square is five feet. Yeah, well, that's I'm kind of at a half square right now, so we'll keep him keep me in the half square, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, 
and I guess seven, so that'll be thirty-five. Okay. So then, where am I? I gotta hit a bunch of buttons here, if I remember correctly. There we go. And I gotta put thirty-five into my movement, right? Distance. Correct. And then I can attack, I guess, with my uh, short sword. Yep. At um, you see, you have fifty per fifty-eight uh, percent action uh, and, remaining. And I need, I need sixty to attack, or what? What was it again? Fifty. Um, Fifty. And yeah. Okay. You, uh, in a situation like this, because there's heavy shadows and it's hard to see, um, anything more than a walking pace, or a, sorry, a jogging pace, will require a maneuver to not trip or slip on some of the crud that's on the floor. Fair enough. High tech. Okay. Um, make your attack at minus forty-two because I'm you've got fifty-eight percent of your action. One second, uh, I gotta redo it. Thank God it's a short sword. I, have a I didn't do it at minus 42 anyways, but... Okay, that would have been a fumble, so we're off to an awesome start. Yay! I was already moving to roll before you said that. You also need to change your target from stabbing yourself to stabbing a skeletal oh, yeah. warrior. I guess so, eh? That ought to do it. Perfect. You still need to unclick yourself. Oh, whoops. You've successfully stabbed yourself three times. Oh, God. Sweet. Oh, only only no, twice there's the a... skeleton once. The skeleton is there for 159. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're keeping okay. the skeleton, right? <laughs> we will. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Did it add the... Did it put the negative... Okay, it did do the negative. Interesting. Um, do me a favor and attack it one more time because I, I deleted the attack and then I'll just manually um, <laughs> manually change it back. Copy that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then I got to roll damage, right? Something That's like assuming that. that you actually hit. I mean, come on. I am assuming a lot. You're right. You have done 23 points of damage and an E slash critical. Damn. Wow. So, what do I have to do again? I've got to do the, um, i got to roll the... Um, double click the double result click roll, the result roll yeah. in the combat tracker if you don't have the combat tracker open yet. Yeah, I got it. You reach the skeleton as it was gathering, uh, getting itself up to its feet, and uh, it looks at you with burning red eyes. It has an ugly red rune in its forehead. You smash it in the face with your sword, and it crumbles to bones. Ooh. Nice. One wow. hit, one kill. Nice. Oops, not that. I need to. I look over. What's going on over there? I love that. <laughs> Why is it so dusty all of a sudden? <laughs> a chew. <laughs> um, looking about the room, you hear more noises. Of course. And another I name, Barla. Another <laughs> nameplate cracks. Uh -oh. And another nameplate cracks. Oh. Uh -oh. I think I know this spell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gotta roll an 88. <laughs> oh boy. When the nameplate on the far right cracks open and a skeleton falls onto the floor. Oh boy. The rope is released. Oh. And the gate Bar crashes down. Barla. Varla, you are on the opposite side of the gate. Oh, thank goodness. 
it closes <laughs> it slams down onto the stone staircase with a resounding thoom new round did we not stay to blow on it okay new round. we don't get to go <laughs> Uh, no, because you, the danger was passed. Oh, I see. Yeah. You gathered yourselves and you went, oh, fuck. <laughs> Bring them to me. I will help. <laughs> <laughs> Poke them through the gate. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Poke them through the gate. Yell some in fan or er, some. What's the word I'm looking for? Profanity is at them. Four, five. <laughs> Colorful language. I know this will come as a shock, but uh, Varla, you get to lead us off again. <laughs> <laughs> I will prep a second round because we are so low level, so that'll be me next. Done. Okay. Kamal, you're up yet again. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the obvious thing to do is attack the one closest to me. So I'll take a five foot step this way. All right. Turn to face if you would. To five. Yeah. I think it's uh, what? There we go. Shift. And select this one. And attack. Uh, something that I forgot to do on the last one, not that it mattered because it was one hit, one kill, but you can also give yourself um, another plus 30 because these things are down in the ground and getting up. Wait. Okay, mm. so plus 30. Yep. Am I supposed to give myself a minus for anything this time? Negative. Perfection. All right. And attack. Beauty. Damn. Um, it says there's no target again. God damn it. I definitely targeted it. Yeah, you Probably did. It does. So, it says it in the chat. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but when I do the result roll, it says there is no target for this table result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the icons and re-add them really quick. <clears throat> and maybe it's me because this is actually behaving really, really badly for me. There's my encounter. Add them to the combat tracker. Delete that one. Oh, and they all popped off the map. All right, perfect. Okay. That one. That one. I swear I had this all set up ahead of time. I was like, oh, it'll be great. It'll be nice and smooth this time. All good. Well, one of them is already dead, though. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this fine fellow, we believe that was him. All right, so that one's gone. Me too. What? All right. Um, Retarget and um, we'll redo the damage, but I'll just push it back up to the top of the table regardless of what the result is. That's good. <clears throat> Still no target for the attack table. That is absolutely... Oh, wait. Okay, let's delete that one. Let's try this one. Dang, Kamel. I don't know why this is bugged. This, That's just bizarre. All right, um, roll me a percentage, and I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. 
192. Yeah. I uh, know. I've got the 192. He maxes out the table, which is a uh, a 24 e slash. Mm. A critical of 49 is a solid stab to the chest. Nice. It doesn't bleed because it doesn't have any blood. <laughs> and these are immune to stun. So it does take the additional six hits. Ooh. It's okay. Um, when I'm writing it down, it's a uh, you're all, you're telling me for the for the um. Twenty four es, twenty four points and an e slash critical. E slash critical, thank you. Yep. And that was, I think it was this one. Uh, that is enough. Again, one hit, one kill, and it nice. collapses into a pile of bones. Oh, Kamal. We'll go wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> hey, well, at least I deleted the right one. Yeah, it's not even leaving um, death markers for some reason. So there's something that's definitely bugged in the program. All right. The skeleton in the bottom left corner gets to its feet. Um, like the others, it has an ugly red rune in its forehead. Its eyes uh, have a red hellish glow in them. And it's not even letting me turn the facing. Jesus. Yeah, I had trouble with that just now, too. I don't know. Hold down shift. Use the mouse wheel. Yeah, it's yeah. it's moving the mouse instead of. Uh... Yeah, it was zooming me in and out too. Oh, there we go. With the shift button. Yep. Yeah. What? It's, it's weird and buggy. Yeah, you got to get right in the middle of the token. You might have to zoom in. Yeah. The skeletal warrior had a shield on its arm. It leaves the shield on the ground and it's holding a broken bronze sword in its hand. It is obviously going to try and kill Sir Morgan with it next round. Good. <laughs> this skeletal warrior went to the market. Turns <laughs> and he begins to advance, the crunching of gravel munching under his feet. Mm. This skeletal warrior also gets up. And it seems to be intent to go this way, and it's facing Nino. And this one moves up behind him. And unlike the unlike the zombie dead things that you uh, saw outside of the tomb, these move quickly and with purpose. Do they have pustules? They do not. They have been dead for a long time. They're wearing um, leather armor that's old and cracked. Okay. Um, there's very little left of them, except obvious malice, hate, and something animating them. Nino, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, I wonder what could be animating them. Um, let's see. What shall I do? I guess if I do a, what is this thing called? Um, tower striking, does that take a round? It does. You prepare it this round to go off next round. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't take, does it take up a percentage of my round? 20% of your round. Okay. So, so you then... could take 20% off of whatever you do this round. And the first thing you do next round is you roll to see if it goes off. And if it does, then it affects for you, it affects you for the entire round. Okay. <clears throat> then let's see what I'm going to do. And then if I attack, it's 100%. <clears throat> um, and, oh, so the skeletal warriors have all gone. Yes. Okay. And this is 22. That's 9. Um, I'm going to get power striking ready. 
Okay. And then I'm going to move. Uh, these guys move fast. I'm going to move down here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And will that be your entire turn? Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, that means, Iko, you're up. Sir Morgan, you're on deck. I have a couple questions. Shoot. How how high are these sarcophagi? The uh, they're yeah. four feet tall. Four feet, so they can't just go over them. You could Without crawl over climbing. them if you wanted okay. to. The other question is, um, can I use regional lore to to remember if I know any stories about any tombs in this area? Um, yes, you can. Is that in the tower, be part please. of my move? No, this is a free action. Okay, thanks. Oh, cool. um, yeah. Hmm. In the tower... Lore skills are always a good idea. Lore, lore, lore. Like this is a role-playing game or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's crazy talk. <laughs> I've heard of stories, but nothing that relates to this. Okay. Well, then, let's get on with it. Um, I am going to go to this fella over here and kick his butt. All right, do I have him targeted? It's shift or control? Control click to target. There it is. Okay, and then I'm going to, um, I want to put, I'm going to do adrenal speed. So that's 20%, correct? It is. Where do I put that in the percent activity? Yeah. And that that will uh, then you oh, can uh, you can click on the plus symbol, and that will uh, automatically affect your roll of whatever it is you're going to try and do. I can't open it. I'm clicking on the plus, but it's not doing anything. No, you put. Oh, sorry. Uh, put it in the. You're right. Sorry, that's only for distance, I guess. Um, so put it um, in the modifier in the bottom left corner. Modifier. Okay, so twenty. Where's the stone lore? All right, and then um. Tree master. I want to do my kata. Okay. And move. So I'm gonna move the twenty feet. Or is it fifteen? It was twenty feet. Okay. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was. Uh, oh yeah, it is because it's twenty feet because you're diagonal. Stone rod. Right there it is. Yeah. Twenty feet here. Stone speech. And then I want to sweep them. So I'll take this one. Since it's bigger. And I put it right into the tray, correct? Yes. 97. Ooh. Well, that actually um, worked for some reason. I don't know why the, the other attack did not, but I will take it. Oh, OK. Just one? <laughs> one single point. Is enough to uh, get its attention, but uh, not enough to get a critical. Oh, my God. And then what happens with the kata? Uh, you're right. That gets pushed up to two points. And you didn't do a critical, so there's no additional effect of the kata. All right. That's lame. Well, you would... <laughs> you took uh, two minuses on the attack, so. Mm. Uh, but that brings us to the paladin, the killer of killers. I uh, I'm gonna hit it really hard. <laughs> well, you have it targeted, so we're off to a good start. Yay! And it it ran up to you, begging for you to hit it. <laughs> These are the kind of undead that you've read about, by the way. Oh. Right. These, These appear to be normal undead. <laughs> as normal as they get. I don't know. That wasn't as good a roll as I was hoping for. Well, you've never faced undead before. 
but you did still manage to do 12 points in a C crush critical. Wow. Right. Sweet. Grab, grab this result roll over here. Blast those chests, send rib cage through heart. Foe drops and dies. You get plus 20 on your next swing. It was so impressive. Zion. Effect is dead. Nice. Uh, that is number four. The effect showed up three times they wanted to impress upon you. Yeah. <laughs> How good that was. Is it a free action to wave at Varla right now? Yes. <laughs> Minus yes, 10. No. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, even more impressive than Kamau's one hit, one kill. The... What is happening? It is outside my cone of uh, light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New I'm round. Initiative, please. <laughs> or disconnected. <laughs> so coney. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I gotta go. No, you I don't. I don't own all of these. Fuck <laughs> oh. <laughs> It hurts oh, us so oh, much. I, I made a mistake there. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to reroll my initiative. It was too low, huh? <laughs> it was much, much, much too hot. Uh, well, Nino... I roll mine too. You probably need me to roll my initiative, huh? Uh, I do need you to roll your initiative. Or you just accept that you're going to go last. No. Yay. I uh, I put that bonus into the modifiers, forgetting that I have to roll initiative every round. Ah. Uh. Oh. Varla, lead us off. So, like a uh, young kid's dance club, you see strobe, strobing silver and green lights come from this <laughs> this hallway. <laughs> That's right. Varla's like... <laughs> um... <laughs> And she she finishes her air wall and puts it between Aiko and anybody that's going to come from the north here. Nice. Um, do you want to draw it on the map? Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I don't know if it'll cut through Skeletal Warrior 22 as well and give him a minus 50, but it that's should. the intention. Yep, absolutely it will. Okay, that's my turn, oh, and I start concentrating real, real hard, and my tongue sticks out like Michael Jordan in the air. As we hear, okay, <laughs> that's me. That's funny. Okay, I feel the wind. Woo! <laughs> oh, sorry, I pressed the button. That's okay. Actually, I should have you guys press the button just so I know that you're uh, you're done your turn. Uh, bottom left of the combat tracker, there's a little green arrow pointing down. That's oh, okay. uh, like an end Next turn. Next actor. Yeah. Oh, cool. That was yep. so Canadian of you, Phil. You said, done your turn. Is that bad? No, it's just, it, it's very Canadian. Done with your turn. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Did it? Well, but our I've next... adopted it. Anyway. Our next contestant is um, the skeletal warrior that just got an air wall pushed on his face. Oh, Can you sweet. read off the spell because I don't know specifically what it does. Yeah, no I problem. Generally, it's what it does, but creates a ten by ten by three wall of dense churning air, uh, cuts all movement and attacks through it by fifty percent. So minus fifty. Sounds oh. like it got walloped. Oh, oh no! Oh Noah. <laughs> user has left chat. <laughs> uh, Marlo, are you assigning any of your offensive bonus to parry with? If so, now would be the time. Um, um, yeah, I am. Aren't I? Don't I have a natural parry, you said? You do. Your um, adrenal defense uh, will give you uh, a constant Ten. defensive bonus against these things. But if you mm -hmm. feel like you're in danger and you'd like to add more, you certainly can. But he avoided me, so I don't need to, right? Hello? Who avoided you? Uh, Varla. I'm kidding. Okay, so 10. I didn't follow that at all. <laughs> all right. Um, the skeleton also has a broken sword, an old bronze uh, sword in its hand that 
the blade is broken in half. He swings it at you with all of his undead strength. Oh, I hope you got your tetanus shots. Mm. But while this was slightly more skilled and definitely more forceful than what you faced outside, you have no problem avoiding his attack. Okay. Come out. Nice. Uh... I mean, the obvious choice is uh, <clears throat> can I attack from here, or is that uh, too far? Um, no, you you have a five-foot reach, so you're good. All right, then I move 20. And I attack. Make sure you target him. Oh, certainly. Thank you kindly. A arrow. solid hit for eight points of damage. Not enough to knock it down, but you got its attention. Right. And then I'm supposed to click to the next person, but you already did that for me, I think. Oh, sorry, bad habit. Skeletal Warrior number nine is unable to reach Ico, so he will... Uh, he doesn't shuffle. He moves very deliberately and with purpose over to Nino. Great. Nino, if you are going to assign Perry, now would be the time as well. Okay. Actually, the time is at the beginning of the round, but I'll, I'll tell you to do it now since I didn't tell you to do it before. Oh, okay. Um, so... This one has no weapon in its hand. It does have a shield uh, okay. that it doesn't particularly seem to know how to use. Uh, it's going to try and beat you with the shield. Okay. <laughs> um... Let's see. <clears throat> do I need to do anything in the combat tracker for Perry? Yes. Um, if you click on the shield next to your name, mm -hmm. and then the Perry option should come up, and you can add as much of in the melee box or melee space. Right. You can add as much of your offensive bonus into that value as you want. It automatically deducts it from your attack and adds it to your defense. Okay. Um... Well, I'm not going to have to move. How do I know move. how much my bonus is in total? How much your <clears throat> defensive bonus is? Yes. Uh, let me pull up your yeah. character. Or where would I look for this? <clears throat> Shield. Plus Combat tab bottom defensive there. Bon yeah, that's what I figure. I've got total plus 25 down here between my shield then okay. so when he attacks he will take a minus 25 to um his attack okay. against you just because you're probably so quick okay um and then i well i guess with that in consideration i don't have to add parry to this do i you don't have to. Okay. I think if you I'm think that uh, you are far more skilled than he is, or he is so so weak that you can just dodge his attack, um, <laughs> you don't need to parry. Um. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to risk it and not do it this round and see what happens. Okay. He raises his shield oh God. And, tries to, and tries to slam it into you as hard as his undead strength will do. It's a very no weak target. attack. <laughs> no target and, selected. Oh, what a lazy, lazy skeleton, I tell you. <laughs> Is he even trying? He will Apparently now. Not. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, come on. <laughs> Is he a bugged one? Mm -hmm. Control. Click. You have to click on him first on the map, usually. 
Yeah. And it doesn't want to let me target her. Oh. Huh. I am just that nimble. Apparently. Does this uh, rule set have the... Uh, there we go. Got it. Uh, I, had to, I had to clear the target and then just reacquire. Mm. Yeah. So, sorry about that. It once again raises its mighty shield and swings... A solid 66. <laughs> Yay. I feel the wind move my hair. Wow. Lips you for a whopping damage. three points of damage. Ouch. Uh, okay. If it weren't for the shield in your hand, that definitely would have been a critical. Yikes. <clears throat> Nino, right. it is time for some payback. Okay. Well, I'm offended. I'd be uh, and... We're going to begin by having you, uh, you check your uh, power lifting skill. Okay. Power lifting? Or power striking, sorry. Okay. Um, so the skill allows the use of a controlled burst of strength to increase the force of a blow, such as with a sword, hammer, or fist. Um, it requires activity or action the round before. Uh, I receive a bonus to my off my OB, according to Defensive how much bonus. force he puts into the blow, right? which in turn affects the difficulty of the maneuver. Okay, so I get to choose how much of my offensive bonus I put into this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So a medium maneuver is plus zero, a hard maneuver is minus 10, very hard minus 20, and so on. Minus 30, minus 50, minus 70. Okay. And he's right in front of me, so I don't need to take any minuses for movement, right? Correct. And he's already attacked you, so you get your full offensive bonus. Sweet. Um, so can I put, can I take a minus 20 deduction to add to power striking then? Yep. Uh, you can either put minus 20 in the modifier box or you can click on the very hard button either way. Okay. But you, okay. you've got to roll and break 101 for the skill to go off. Okay. <clears throat> okay, everybody pray. And I say that because I don't know what your skill bonus is, but you've got a way of what your chances are of getting this off. Gotcha. All right, so I need to target him first. Why won't it let me target him? Uh, click on yourself and then control click on him. Oh, control click. There Perfect. we go. Okay. Um, and I hit very hard and I've got my dagger out. Here we go. Power striking for the win. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm going to cancel that. Um, I I need you to use your power striking skill to see if the power striking skill goes off. Oh, I see. Okay. Power striking. Here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasted your 87 off. roll. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it definitely does not go off. Okay. All right. It's on very hard. It's a very hard skill. Yeah. She chose was... to make it very hard. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so you don't get the benefits of it this time. You can try again next round if you'd like. Okay. Um, now do your regular attack. Okay. Dagger. Boom. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. So we're just swinging at each other right now, huh? Nice. Uh, you. Oh, did that target? Oh, did I target myself? Ouch. Uh, no. What happened? What? what? Yeah, that is interesting. Okay. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. That's, That's really strange. Yeah. All right. It I duplicated haven't... the attack that you did last time, so let me just manually adjust that. Okay. That's so silly. We're just dancing in the corner here because we can still hear... <laughs> I cannot see. I cannot see. Come back. Uh, that's. Yeah, that's just really weird. Okay. Um, 
you did uh, 10 points of damage and an A unbalancing critical. Oh, beauty. Ooh. Um, if you would, Ow. hit the Ow. result roll for me. Okay. Um, and that is just a D100? Uh, you can click on the result roll black dice in the oh. combat tracker. I see. And that will automatically bring up the critical table. Nice. For me, who it tends to be extremely lazy. <laughs> By Automagic. Absolutely. And of course, it didn't bring up the critical table. No. <laughs> yeah, this new update. I don't know what they uh, what they changed, but they definitely screwed something up. Hmm. So I'm looking at uh, the game I'm about to run on Sunday. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, you know what? It's not the end of the world. It was a an A unbalancing of eighty. Mm -hmm. uh, blow to the left, the opponent's left side. Uh, if he has a shield, it is torn away. You do twelve more hits, Beautiful. and he should be stunned for two rounds. But he's immune. Skeletons don't care about being stunned. They are they are very rarely impressed by the things that we do to them. If they only had brain. Yep. We can't so skill taking... stun them. Oh. You mm -mm. cannot st skill stun them. Damn. That one was truly bad. And that was I absolutely know. horrible. <laughs> Brian, I could hear the disappointment in your voice. <laughs> and now the skeleton that uh, you managed to irritate decides that uh, it it is not fond of you as well. Uh. So he raises his fist. Oh. <laughs> and beats them helplessly against the shield. <laughs> Iko. Okay, so my adrenal speed, that is only for moves or it's a, is it also for It gives you 200% activity so you could attack twice. You can okay, run so for a hundred percent, and then, yep, you could. Okay, so that that didn't go off last time, so I want it to go off this time. That's did you prepare for it last round? Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, so I did. That was why you missed because you used some, you did so many yeah. modifiers. Okay, so that. roll your adrenal speed skill. Okay, let me see here. Hmm. It has to go 100? Uh, it needs, needs to break 100. So the okay. adrenal speed does not go off. So okay. you're at your regular regular, regular standard 100% movement. Now okay. be aware, there's a wall of air turning and churning directly to the north of you. Mm -hmm. um, the skeleton so is I want in to it. Move? Well, the skeleton is in it. Um, so if you attack him, you will also be at minus 50. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I can't, I'm not going to do anything special, then I'm just going to hit him. Okay. Um, with the kata. Uh, what rank? So, uh, four, uh, three, I'll do the three. Rank three it is! Yeah, um, okay. So where is my three, is it here? Gosh, what is the deal? Oh. Your rolls are not oh, doing you know any favor. I didn't do minus 50. That's okay. You didn't do any damage anyway. Okay. Whatever. That minus 50 <laughs> made no difference whatsoever. All right, Sir Morgan, show us how it's all done. Uh, I might not be able to do that this round. So I got to move over there. You do. Uh, yeah. So that would be seven uh, plus five. That'd be 17. seventeen. You can hit from there. No. Uh, yeah, everybody has a five foot reach with their weapon, unless you're using a two handed weapon. Then sometimes it gets a little longer. All right. So that is what did I say? Fifteen. 
17. Um, 17. 17 feet. From where you're attacking, the skeleton does have cover from the sarcophagus and Nino, so you'll be striking at minus 50. Minus. And the other one is pretty much similar as well because of the thing. Yep. So it's minus, minus 50 to either one. Your choice. <laughs> Dealer's choice. <laughs> Uh, Ico's unwounded, Nino is wounded, therefore I will hit the one that hit uh, Nino. Okay, you make sure you've got it targeted. Good, I had forgotten to target it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and you get plus 20 to this swing because your last one was so impressive. I do, and it appears that that effect is active, so let's see if that works. Audio magically. Audio magic. If it doesn't, I'll make sure I add it. Ah, nice, yep, it's there. Boom. Fourteen C puncture critical. Ooh. Fourteen yeah. points and <laughs> strike to the back of his head. Wow, he does he not die? have a helm. Uh so he dies. If he did have a helm, he would only take six more hits, and he would be down on the ground for two rounds. So, unfortunately, Nino, he stole your kill, and you can yell at him for that. <laughs> uh, that is lucky number nine. Nice. Mr. One-Hit-One-Kill strikes again. And that brings us to a new round. Everyone roll initiative. Initiative. Negative. Does that happen? He goes back because in time. I have heavy, uh, oh. heavy armor. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do have a question, though. Uh, never mind. I don't have a question. I thought I had set my pace to jog, but I had set my pace to walk, so. Ah, got it. All right, uh, Varla, you are up. Could you begin with a um, perception roll, please? Uh-oh, yes. And please put this in the tower. Yeah, uh -oh. always. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, well, 50% uh... chance of it being good. Okay, from where you're standing, um, you're having a very hard time seeing what is on the right-hand side of of uh, the room. Okay. You're elevated, and there's kind of the stairs, and then there's people. So right. what you can do is, is somewhat limited. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but... Uh, lead us off oh okay i uh i'm just basically concentrating now on that air wall so i'll, I'll explain uh to everybody okay so i put up this air wall it is going to churn and give you defensive um, um countenance for the next little while uh Aiko, don't target that one and that'll be me oh. don't target this one no, unless you want to keep it busy there to keep it in place, but uh, otherwise it will affect you as well. Okay. Ooh. Thanks, Farla. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma Skeleton and my warrior. grandma sitting by the fire. Sitting by the air wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does everyone have their uh, parries um, set, by the way? Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. How much percentage do I have left? Uh, this is a brand new round. Oh. Uh, parry. You can reset your parry amount how, to whatever you want every round. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. I haven't done it yet. Um, oh, there it at, is, I think. Oh, yeah. No way. On the combat think. tracker, click on the shield. Yeah, parry. I already know. Yeah. Is the air, is the air wall killing the skeleton? No, it's just strictly a um, negative ability that it has. 
Under the melee number I put, I changed that number? Uh, no, click on the shield and it will dr drop down the defensive. It does, port. yeah. Where do I Oh, yeah, and then in the melee section, okay, um, right. add however much you want to melee and it will automatically subtract that from your attack. Interesting. So and, if you had an um, offensive bonus of 50, you could put a maximum of 50 in that and you would attack at plus zero. And I shouldn't be... Uh, you had said that I had my shield last time. I shouldn't be using my shield right now, or it shouldn't be included in my defense. I apologize. That was um, that was uh, color. Okay. Um, great. Whatever we have in the fridge. Let me know when you've got it set, because this skeletal warrior wants to introduce you to the oh, broken set. end of his broken sword. It's set. With a mighty swing, but not a tremendous effect. You realize that uh, they may be strong, but they are not skilled. That's a cop. Just... Come out. Can you please give me a perception roll, please? Perception. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can make it at plus 10. Hmm. Not 410. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do this round? Oh. I, uh... I point it out to anybody that's looking in my direction, and then I attack. Okay. How would you like to point that out to people? With my um, torch. I <laughs> okay. Wave, I wave the torch in that direction, which should be pretty uh, eye-catching, since there's only two light sources in here. Mm -hmm. What are we noticing? Uh, nothing yet. Oh. Oh, boy. It came from there. Oh. I wonder if they buried the horse with him. Give me a roll. Uh, attack roll, you're saying, right? Indeed. <laughs> All right, if you insist. Here the skeleton, go. I'm sorry to say, is not afraid of you. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to be that. Take all the fun out of it. He is slightly Beak. damaged. Oh. Not great. Oh, there's a minus 30 because of range. What range? You just got to get closer is all. Oh, no, it's there shouldn't be. So let me, I'm just going to add 30 to your roll yeah. and apply. 12 points of damage and a B puncture critical. Ooh. Nice. Give me a critical roll, please. Yeah, yeah. Survey says... Calf Minor calf wound. Ah. He, sh if he had blood, he would be bleeding. Mm. Uh, click the end of turn if you would. Oh uh, yeah. Because you know you can do that. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to do that. That's yeah, I keep one. forgetting as well. Skeleton number twenty-two. Iko, he's determined. I have a 10 to parry up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm. Thank yeah. God you parried, because he did one point of damage. <laughs> All right. Way to go. Just enough to hit you on your own arm. Ike goes up. Nino's on deck. 
You told me not to hit this guy, but there's only two left. Hit him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who am Ico, I can you give me a perception roll at minus 10, please? Actually, no. Uh, a straight up um, a straight up roll since Kamau has kindly drawn attention to it. Where? In the tower? In the tower, please. Oh, can I reach this? Okay. Okay, you're good. Good what? Uh, feel free to attack. Do I see anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I'm doing <laughs> um, a... Um, I have minus 10 to parry, I guess. Does that okay. automatically go up? Yep, that'll automatically be calculated in. All right, and I'm doing a rank three. And you're at minus 50 because of the air wall. Mm. Mm. Ooh. So I'm going to change your roll of 65 to a 15. But that's a great roll. Mm -hmm. oh. Still enough for an 8D martial arts critical, though. Yay! Okay. Let me get my result. Take that skeleton. Six more hits. And he's dead. Oh, <laughs> he is dead. Woohoo! <clears throat> but if you mean like stopped Extra moving, dead. no, he is it's not. he dead, dead. Okay. He is still moving, unfortunately for you. All right. Boom. All right. Click the end of turn button if you would. Next actor. Nino. What would you like to do? Well, um, so the air wall is 10 feet tall and wide. It's like a big three foot thick square, huh? Yeah, 10 by 10 by three. Okay. Um, if I hop over to here, can mm -hmm. I see past the wall to Skelly Six? Uh, yes, you can only see the top half of him, but yes, you can certainly see him. Okay. Um, can you give me a perception roll as well? Sure. Oh, Actually, you know what? May, I'll make it at the end of the round. Okay. Um, I guess the other thing is I have my dagger out right now, so it would be a penalty to switch weapons, right? Uh, it is. All right. If we... I think what get I'm going to do the then is I'm just going to move to here and get um, my power attack ready again. Okay, sounds good. Woo. Um, could you give me a um, perception? A perception roll. I can. If that helps. Oh. You see uh, Kamau waving his torch frantically uh, as he engages with the uh, skeleton in front of him. Okay. Wait. Sir Morgan. Yo, uh, I am going to attempt to hit the other skeleton really hard. <laughs> okay. And I have a minus 50 still to him. Mm -hmm. uh, correct. Wall. Yep, because of the wind wall. Not a problem. Oh, probably not a problem. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's disheartening. Oh. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the wind wall has done you dirty, and you cannot hit him. New round. And I'm sure this will be the absolute final round because nothing bad could possibly happen. Um, <laughs> somehow, I don't trust that. Ooh, a positive initiative. Um. Where is that window? That darn, darn crazy little window. There you are. Window. 
Yeah, there's, I got like five windows or six windows open over here, and oh. kind of a pain in the butt. You have two monitors, though, right? I do, and you know, if I had like two more, this would just be even more difficult than it already is. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've got an extra wide monitor for this as well. Yeah, extra wide monitors are nice for this app. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stretch it, baby. All right. Hey, I can close that. Okay. Um, at the top of our list, it's the possibly an elf named Varla based on her speed. Yeah. I'm going to hold my action and I'll cancel my air wall because it seems to be hurting us more than them. Uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll keep it up until I see anybody behind the air wall set to act or move and then I'll drop it. Sounds good. That'll it's be all good action. intentions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hmm. Okay. The oh, air right. wall is gone. Oh, that... Now you're up. I wanted to wait until it's some one of our guys' turns, if possible. Kamau's up next. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Then uh, you tell me when you want to drop it. Then. Okay. I guess I'm gonna attack this dude. So it's saying it's ten feet to us. Uh, yeah. If you want to step forward five feet. You are using a short sword, after all. Oh. <laughs> Not all right, a long reach across the room sword. That's a totally different item. <laughs> Ooh. There. 26 E slash critical. You don't mess around. Could you give me a critical roll, please? God. Absolutely. Just writing that down. Beautiful. With that, his arm falls to the floor, the light fades from his eyes, and he collapses to the ground as well. Nice. Oh, he was a big one. Yeah, he gets the cool icon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hit your end of turn icon. Skeletal Warrior 22 is determined to have his way with that damn monk. Oh my. Bit monkeying around. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was That scary. was almost an 80, but instead it was an embarrassing 8. Nice. And uh, the air wall seems to be uh, completely making him unable to hit you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, so it is doing its job. Yep. Absolutely. Nino, you are up. Okay. Um, I'm going to... What shall I do? Start with your skill. Next actor. Yes. Um... Whoops. It... Attacking this guy, attacking 22 from behind, um, he's still affected by the air wall? He is, okay. but you will get a bonus for rear okay. if you move a little bit closer to him. Okay. Um, it won't let me turn myself. There we go. I'm going to move five feet this direction, and I need to roll. I have to take minus 30, right? A very hard, and then roll for my skill. Start off with um, your skill. Okay. And that does not take a minus. Oh, it, it, do you want to make it a uh, an extremely hard maneuver, or do you want to reduce the difficulty? Oh, that's why it was. Okay. Um, I'll do a minus ten. Okay, that will be a hard maneuver. Okay. Arla, kill the wall. <sighs> oh, oh, do you say do that? Need... Yeah, I say it. Okay, I'll drop it if she says that then. Okay. The wall is gone. <laughs> All right, the wall is gone. I cannot and... see. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Drop the wall, Marlon. Yeah, exactly. Drop the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm going to do power striking. Here we go. Close. Damn, but, it but no cigar. Because it's a partial success, you can try again next round with no prep. Sweet. Okay, but now I just do a regular attack with my dagger. You do. Um, at the top of the menu on the right is mm -hmm. the modifiers menu. It's the plus minus sign. And you uh, can give yourself the rear bonus from there. Okay. The rear yeah. bonus. Uh, is, <laughs> this is a rear flank? Uh, no, it's straight rear. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> straight up the rear. Oh, my freaking okay. ears. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. What kind of thief are you? Hey, honey. Oh, oh 97. You... Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no target. Oh, no. Come oh, on, GM. Come on, GM. Cancel that attack. No. Oh. No. I'll need you to control click on that. Uh, no. No. We've been loose with these rules earlier. <laughs> Think of it as a learning experience. Oh. GM? Really? <laughs> you want me to read this? Was this will be role. the one and only time I allow it. Thank you, you almighty You are GM. going to get ice cream tonight for that. That's right. Popcorn, maybe. You better get ice cream. All right. I, because I did delete the attack, I need you to redo the attack, and I will adjust it appropriately. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. So rear, and then holy crap. That might be the highest attack I've seen in a couple of years. Are you serious? That was insane. Mm -hmm. And again, you roll a 90. Jesus. Wow. I don't even have to modify it. You still max the table. Wait for the boss. <laughs> uh... Wow, you hit oh. me? Thanks. No, sorry. I forgot to hit the resolve button. There we go. 18E slash critical. Could you give me the critical roll, please, as the drums roll? Okay, everybody. Roll, roll the drums. Here we go. Roll the drums. <laughs> Thank you. 35. Immune. 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 Three more <laughs> hits. 11. Um, that is enough based on the damage it's previously taken, however. It does fall down. Yay! It's lights, the lights in its eyes dim, and it falls to the ground in a clatter of bones. Last hit on mm. Skelly 22. We're done. Let's go. Aww. From the north end of uh -oh. the room. Uh oh. Well, crap. Ooh. You hear stone cracking and Crack. pieces of, of the uh, front of the sarcophagus get pushed to the side, uh. and a tall, desiccated corpse of a man. Again, with an ugly red rune carved into the skin of his forehead and burning red eyes crawls out of the hole he just made in the side of his sarcophagus. We don't recognize the rune, do we? Uh, you should run up and examine it. No. I mean, I've seen it already a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, that's this um, is, uh, This must be Amnes. <laughs> What makes you say that, Brian? <laughs> Sorry, <it's> Apparently, it <laughs> is. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Um, <laughs> that would be his turn. Iko, oh. you're up. Okay. Uh, let me see here. <sighs> what does he have in his hand? Like, what kind his of weapons or? His hands are completely empty, but his hands are grotesque and large. They end in long pointed nails. His fingers are two or three times longer than any human should have. Ew. When he looks at you with op uh, when he looks at you, his mouth is open and his teeth have been filed to points. He's a mouth breather. Okay. Is my parry still up if it has been up in the beginning of the round? Yes. 
Okay. I'm going to move. Let's see. Mm. 7, 14, 24. So I'm going to go to here and I'll prep adrenal speed. Okay. Now Is that your entire uh, turn? I'll move up more. Yeah, that's it. All right. Sir Morgan. What is happening? Why is Ico shadow boxing? <laughs> From where you are, uh, Varla, you can certainly see this thing. Oh, can I? Okay, cool. It is well illuminated by Kamau's torch. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> so long, How bitches. do we raise the gate, Diana? How what, Merlo? How do we raise the gate? Did you see where the rope went? Yes. Um, you're asking me this right now? I guess so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I kind of point out Sorry. where the trap was. Like, I point point out where the rope was set initially and how it got um, triggered by the skeleton that came out of the alcove. Wait, hang on a second. Phil, you mentioned earlier that the, the gate was fairly light. Yes, it, it's not uh, it's not terribly sturdy at all. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um... uh... Sir Morgan. Mm -hmm. And a move. Five and fifteen. Uh, Twenty-five, uh, and I'll stay here out of jog. So, do I write in the the full fifteen in the distance? Twenty, sorry. Uh, I think that was 25, actually. And yes, you put okay, 25 right. down in the uh, distance. And then okay, if you hit the little percent activity plus right next to it, it will automatically deduct that uh, percentage off uh, your attack if you're going to attack. And the, and the jog is automatically in there as well? Did you change your pace multiplier from walk to jog? I did. Then yes, it is. I so it took 33% of your action to get that far. You have 66% left. I cast Holy Attack. All right. That will be a roll. All right. Holy Arms. Boom. And I got this over that. So uh, I guess not. Goes off. This is good. Sorry. This is good. Yep. It says success. I believe that goes off. Go off, Queen. And... <laughs> what does it do? It gives me I... pl plus 15 to my melee attack for the current round. Nice. Oh, wait. Did I want to wait for that? Oh, yeah. um, you can. It will take effect on your next attack as long as it's yeah, okay. within a round. Um, yeah. And is that your turn? That is my turn. All right. Everyone roll initiative. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, wait. I'm rocking this round. Positive. <laughs> <laughs> Varla, you have the spectator's view. What would you like to do? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> I start prepping. Done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kamal, you're up. Oh my. Mm. Yeah, well, I guess. Gotta close that distance. should probably put something for Perry, since I don't know what the hell this thing does. Mm. And then I'll attack. You've got him. You've targeted him. You're good to go. No, 
I thought that was a 95. I was almost very excited for you. Oh, wow. 10 still. Mm -hmm. He takes 10 points of damage. Uh, however, his skin is so thick, leathery, and tough, all criticals are reduced by two severities, so he takes no critical. No. Damn it. Oh. No. I, I chose my spell. I did not choose the spell that uh, makes my attacks magical for purposes of critical. No. I chose the wrong spell. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure Kamau oh, yeah. will just walk this off. It'll, it'll be great. Um, okay. Kamau, you're done your turn? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess so. The petrified man is... You did hit him. You did do 10 points of damage, but he is completely unimpressed by you. Uh -oh. He balls up his fist and just simply tries to backhand you. Mm. With a control click... Oh, alpha. Eleven points of damage and a B unbalancing critical. <coughs> Excuse me. Forearm strike. He disarms you, so you drop your sword and you take six more points of damage. Ouch. Your sword clatters. It's it's uh, it's at your feet, but um, it is out of your hand. Oof. Ouchie. Nino, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna hide. Just kidding. Um, I am going to. Hang on. Is it too late at this point? Like, since he's already out, can I use my stalking skill to try and hide? <clears throat> as I move forward? Yes, you can. Yay! Okay. In so combat, gen people are generally only aware of what's happening immediately in front of them, or maybe like 10 feet in front of them. Oh, okay. um, anything outside of that range requires a perception roll. Uh, okay. If something obvious happens, like a dragon lands or a fireball goes off, mm -hmm. everyone will notice that. But okay. in combat, people are so focused on what's going on directly in front of them, anything uh, out of their periphery is quite often missed and ignored. Um, you're far enough away and it's obviously focused on what's directly in front of it that, um, yeah, you can, you can hide, you think quite effectively. Okay, sweet. Um, in that case, then I would like to roll to stock and, um, <clears throat> can I, at the same time, let's see, this is five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, I want to move up to about here and stalk and also get my um, power strike ready. Okay, so you're going to take minus 20 from your stock and hide roll because okay. that it takes 20% to prepare your power strike. Right, so that's 40. Yep, I'm going to give you plus 30 because you've got big obvious things to hide behind. Uh-huh. Um, and now, normally when you um, make a stock and hide roll, you're moving at a crawling pace. Uh -huh. For every pace multiplier above that, it's minus 10. So you can go to walking pace at minus 10. Okay. So minus You could 10. jog at minus 20. You could run at minus 30. I don't need to get up there quickly. I just need to get up there quietly. So 10... 20. You're only 10, going 25 feet. Yeah. 25, 35, 45 with the bonus. So I... Oh, 40, 50, 60. So that's 65, right? Okay. Um, um, give me a roll. And for every point that you beat um, 100 by, mm -hmm. that's the penalty to his perception. Okay. So... And this is just straight up stock. Yep. Okay. With the plus 30 for the cover of the... Oh, Beauty roll. Oh, God. Thank goodness I'm rolling well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you are confident that he is completely oblivious to you. Yay. Woohoo. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. 
Aiko, you're up. Okay. Um, am I able to open the gate? Um, you can go up to it and you can try. No, I mean it, with it, the rope, it, like. The way that Jana was ex describing it, it mm -hmm. sounds like it's up in this. This it area, was. Right? It's now laying Here. on the floor. Yeah, the rope is. The rope is. So it's there's no way to. It's falling off fully, and it is now just laying on the floor, uh, on the stairs. Okay, so it's over by the doorway. Correct. Okay, not over here. Okay, I thought it was in the corner. All right, so I am going to move forward then. Yeah, it, it it was attached to this spot over here. Okay. I want to move here. How do I show you? Just um, there's a ping button. Oh, that okay. Um, what's that distance? It was ten plus seventeen. Seventeen. All right, so I've got that. I've got a ten parry. And I'm going to hit him with a, um, actually, adrenal speed. I want to roll that first. So that's D100. Correct. And add your adrenal speed bonus. Here. Okay. So that doesn't go off. And then I'm going to do the martial arts sweep 61, rank three. Okay. No target oh. selected. <clears throat> there we go. I need to do that. I'm going to screw myself if I don't. Hey, I'll take that. Five points and a C martial arts critical, Five which points. unfortunately becomes an A, kata? but it's, it's still a critical. Is that with the kata? The kata is inflict a critical of one degree less so in this case um because the main critical gets reduced to an a critical it's reduced by two levels the kata critical is uh non-existent okay and then it was double hit points it is double hit points that's technically a 10 a martial arts critical okay so i roll for the the critical i do i do have a critical right okay yep The foe is not stunned because undead are immune to stun, mm -hmm. but you are able to use a hip throw to knock him down off of his feet. Nice. Okay. nice. Uh, and he takes an additional seven hits for a total of uh, 10 plus seven is 17. All right. I did something. Yes, you did. Okay. Um, I believe that brings us to, if you can hit the end of turn button, Sir Morgan. Uh, oh, yeah. Seven, 17, uh, and a little bit more. Looks like you got to get up five more. <clears throat> there you go. You are in, like Flynn. So that is uh, 23. 23. Again, if you ever want to measure distance, just hold down both mouse buttons and drag, and then it'll tell you the distance you want to go. All right. Then I'm going to hit him really hard. Uh, you have him targeted, so swing away. Touch. Way to go. That is looks like a very solid hit. Palpable. 15 points of damage. Um, did you get the plus 15 for your, your spell? Yes, I did. Yes, you I did. All right. So 15 sorry. points of damage and an A crush critical. Yeah. Uh, drag these <laughs> dead things. Crush critical. Interesting. 32. Whoops. Bo must parry next round. He takes three more hits, and uh, again, another <laughs> impressive strike that gives you plus five to your next attack. Nice. 
We took 18 points. Well, after all the hitting and knocking down you guys have done, he is starting to look somewhat worse for wear. Only somewhat? <laughs> Only somewhat. Um, and that brings us to a best thing ever, a new round. Woohoo! Ooh. And in true Varla fashion, Varla will lead us off, followed by Kamau on deck. I will cast Analyze Symbol and learn what this spell is on it, if it's a first level spell, I think. Uh, um, can you read oh. the spell out specifically? Yeah, actually, it's anything. So Caster learns what spell is emplaced within one symbol, within 50 feet. <clears throat> oh, yeah, he did. Oh, no. I haven't seen him today. That's interesting. So I can learn whatever spell level it is, but then I can't unsymbol it until I reach that particular level. Got it. Done. Perfect. I'm going so, to walk with. Did you the... roll your spell, by the way? Oh, that's a good question. I did not. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> requesting that um okay I'll, it goes off and you get that information yeah i'll walk through that symbol and start to lift the portcullis next turn done that sounds good End oh i can see dead bodies <laughs> so mal is up and i go hey what All happened right. to the music <laughs> <laughs> well i guess uh how much movement is it for me to pick up my sword Actually, I you were holding a torch in one hand and a short sword, uh, a, a torch in one hand, your short sword in the other. Yeah. So you need to make a 50 50 roll to see which one got dropped. Oh. Okay. So uh, low is uh, the torch, I guess. All right. Why are you videotaping it? Uh, oh. Drop the torch. Okay. So the torch is down. Um, you. Uh, you still have your sword in hand. I will attack. It's down, right? Do I get a bonus since it's been knocked down? Um, yes. Uh, there is a downed bonus um, oh. in the modifier stable. Oh, I forgot to ask about that. Whoa. So do I. In the mod where in the modifiers does it say downed? Uh, top right. You found the modifiers table. Uh, sorry, you opened it. I minimized it. That's okay. It's in the top right corner. It's a plus minus button. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Modifiers. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, down, do you say? Yeah, yep. Under uh, combat OB foe down. What did you say? It's you can just type. Here, I'll just drag it onto your. Uh... Downed. Maneuver downed. Minus 70. Oh, that's for that's for maneuvers. No, uh, combat OB. You're at plus thirty, basically. Um... Copy. Plus thirty. Combat OB. Anyway, so I'll put the modifier in. Yeah, if you want, just type in plus thirty. That's fine too. Doing it. All right. And. Oh, hold on. Um, he was forced to parry. So he has to do that. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, dang. Mm -hmm. You do nine points of damage and no critical. He is very strong. He tries to knock your sword away from doing uh, any significant damage. And for the most part, he was successful. The petrified man pushes himself back up to his feet he opens his mouth for a raspy roar, but no air comes out because he's dead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and uh, he looks extremely upset. 
with the monk. Oh, he's, yeah. he's fun all the way around. <laughs> Nino, you're I... up. Iko, you're on deck. Okay, I have a question. Uh huh. So I prepared my power attack last round, or I start. Correct. I started to prepare it, and yep. I'm stalking. Can I also combine ambush with this attack? Yes. Yeah. Ambush is a skill you can only use when the opponent is completely unaware of the strike coming in. Okay. He's focused. You, you, by complete fluke, as a matter of fact, you're coming up behind him. So he won't, unless he makes a really, really good perception roll, he will not see you coming. Um, so you will get to use your ambush skill. For oh. every rank of ambush that you have, mm -hmm. when you get a critical, you can move that critical up or down by one. So if you've got ten one. ranks of ambush, you can move that critical up or down by ten either way, oh, wow. and get the exact result that you want. Are you serious? Yep. But you have to get a critical first, right? And to start off with, let's see if your power strike is going to work. Right, and not only that, but I have to. I'm. I've got to move in, right? So that's deducting. 10. That is deducting. Yeah. Let me add all this stuff in. Movement. Um, wait. Where do I add this in? On the combat tracker under distance. Right. I'm trying to find distance. Here it is. Enter the actual distance. Ten. Okay. And then. Um, and then click on the plus right next to that, and that will add that automatically into the combat uh, as a reducing that from your attack. Okay. Double and she also make. gets a rear. rear well, attack? first, first they need you to make your roll for your power attack to find out if right. it goes off. Okay, and then that is to make my power attack roll. Um, I'm not going to put any modifiers on it. You used the same. Uh, you had a partial attack or a partial success last time. Right. So you're going to be at the same difficulty this time. Okay, so I use hard. You did. Okay, and power attack. Where are you, power attack? There it is, power striking. It's under P for power puff attack. <laughs> Damn. Does not go off. Okay, well, that stinks. Um, and You're just a regular I... mortal. Okay, so then, then I have to roll. So how does ambush work? Uh, first, give yourself the modifier of rear again. Okay. Modifier, rear, gotcha. And then you do a regular attack. Uh huh. And oh, let me see if he sees you. If he is aware of the the, he's definitely unaware of you. Okay, sweet. Uh, so if you get a critical, uh huh. Oh, then, then you get to modify the critical. Him. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. You did say that the first time, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was just a regular hit. It was a regular hit, and you did. No damage. Yay! No. But now he knows I'm here. <laughs> okay. He does. <laughs> well. Um, if you're done your turn, click the button, and Iko, you're next. I am done. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna just go straight hit. Um. Yeah. You have your quarter staff in your hand. You're gonna to have to drop it if you want to just do a straight hit. No, I'm doing a kata. <laughs> okay. Mm. Silly. Uh... Oh, I can't drag my dice over. I can't. Well, your roll was pretty good. Two points of damage. Oh my god! Really? Ooh, you you damaged him more than I did. <laughs> What is AM? A martial arts critical. So it is a critical? He all critical results against this opponent are reduced by two levels. Mm -hmm. No. He is extremely <laughs> he, he is extremely strong and his his petrified skin is extremely resilient. All right. Whatever. Click the end of turn button when you're done, and I believe Sir Morgan will be up. Yarp. Brave Sir Morgan. 
I am going to hit him really hard. Or Are you, though? I, am I, though? That's a, that is a good question. God damn it. He blocks your attack uh, because he's being forced to parry this turn. Right. I did contemplate trying to add uh, another plus 15. Another holy attack, but... Actually, uh, you didn't. should have gotten plus 15 for being in his flank, but um, it was still a miss. All right. I, uh, uh, yeah. Everyone's favorite thing in the world. It's a new round. It's a new day. Got into the 30s. Varla's still ahead. This will come in as a shock, but Varla goes first. <laughs> so Varla, or sort of Varla's player, realizes you wrote the first spell is identified. And as I walk towards the portcullis, I realize, oh shit, there are two more. <laughs> so have at me with two spells if they affect flesh and blood people. Uh, since you just walked forward and you walked on this thing, no apparent effect happens. So either you're not the target or perhaps you were meant to be here. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, I will start uh, doing my best not to prolapse myself as I lift this thing up. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> this is a hard maneuver. It's not terribly difficult. It is a little bit bulky. Um, but to lift it up high enough that you can get under it is a hard maneuver. Okay. Uh, just, just roll strength with hard or something else? Um, triple your strength bonus and add that to the roll. Oh, wow. Uh, are you, I have a 30. You have a 30 strength You're... bonus? Yeah. Oh. I, I made myself a, a powerful person. <laughs> Instead of my normal quickness self, I apparently rolled some kind of strength bonus. Oh, that's right. You know what? Sorry, I was thinking of the previous edition. You're right. It's it's. I was just straight you roll. Your quickness for yeah, it's straight yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RMSS. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Uh, hard. Too much RMSS, which is the previous <laughs> version of Rollmaster. Yeah. Hmm. And in the tower, because I should know. Oh, you should know. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, without any difficulty, as a matter of fact, you easily lift it up and slide under. Perfect. So you can move yourself forward five feet. Do you want you want to keep it lifted, or do you want to let it go? Mm, good question. I will, if I can keep it lifted for the end of this turn, I will. No problem. Because it's looking like the fight is going okay up there. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep it lifted. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Mighty Mouse pose style. <laughs> Come out, you're up. Petrified man, you're on deck. So, uh, do I get a, a bonus for the flanking? You do. That's 15 or something? Uh, yeah, it's 15. Alright, so... I guess I'm gonna attack. Seems like the thing to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hilarious. I sense there's whispering going on behind my back. <laughs> you have no idea. There's Not nothing happening me. back here. <laughs> well, it's a solid hit for seven points of damage. Sweet. Woohoo. Uh, you done your turn? Oh, yeah. Sorry. How I come when that damage was applied, that health bar barely moved? <laughs> because he's a boss mob uh, or is he a boss mob I hope so <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Anus here is not the boss it's going to be the, the silver queen Anus uh, Marlo no. or yeah. sorry Ico yes alright again it's going to be a straight martial art sweep with the kata no, this is the petrified oh. man swinging on you. Oh, well, I hit him for 115 first. <laughs> Go ahead. No, sorry, I accidentally deleted that. What? 
uh, he tries to grab you uh -oh. in his in the strength strength of his undead grip. Uh oh. Seven points of misses. damage. Because that's an... Kamal. Oh, I gotta redo it. Ooh. Oh. Uh Kamal, can you heal yourself for seven points, please? Heal myself? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Whoa, what I the should... hell? More than seven. <laughs> Well, uh, I was at 17, and somehow you put me at 54. Oh, Whoa! So easy Sorry, now. he. Yeah, uh, ignore that. That we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh huh. Watch oh, out, no. Marlo. <laughs> Seriously. All right. Let's. I'm parrying. Remember, and I'm an offensive, a defensive bonus, an offensive defensive bonus. An offensive defensive bonus. Uh, okay. Apparently I've got to clear his target again and reacquire. Nope. Nope. There we go. Sorry, that took a couple of tries. Once again, he's going to try and crush you in his his loving arms. Oh no! I'm sure you'll be fine. No. You're you're hard to hit. Eight Shit. points of damage. Oh. One more point, and you would have started taking criticals. <laughs> he just can't grab you. You're a little bit too quick. What would you like to do? Okay. I want to hit goes him up. back. You know you're on deck. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, using my kata, I'm going to sweep him. I can't look. A solid four points of damage. That's it. Yep. Okay. okay. If you're done your turn, uh, click the next the next actor button or the end of turn button the down arrow nino you're up sir morgan you're on deck okie dokers um so my power strike didn't go off last time so i can roll for it again nope uh it's been used so now it, you can prep for it for next turn if you want okay and then ambushing is out of the question because Correct. he obviously knows i'm here <laughs> he definitely does <laughs> okay then I am going to um, just go for a straight up stabby stab. Okay, make sure you've got a rear bonus. Okay. Or if it's easier, you can just put in a plus 35 in the modifier in the bottom left corner if that's easier. All right. Um, you've got the rear table out. So here we go. Boop. The thief stabs him in the rear. Booty stab. <laughs> Three points of damage. Three points in the left cheek. Whole points. <laughs> All right. That's right. Or his former cheek. Okay. Uh, I got his other end... cheek. <laughs> hit the end of turn button and. Oh, yes. There you go. Sir Morgan. We're fighting. All right. So I also get a flank bonus. You do. All right. Nice. Now I'm going to hit him really hard. It's a 55. 12 points of damage and a B slash critical, which becomes 12 solid points of damage. Nice. Not bad. Sweet. Not bad at all. And capping off the end of the round, uh, new round. Everybody roll initiative. Wow, this guy is stubborn. With the his leathery. The stuff. petrified man. Uh, you can see that you've between the the whacking and the knocking and the stabbing and the poking and the shoving around, he's he's looking unsteady on his feet, but he still has plenty of fight in him. 
Hmm. All right, what? somebody sweep the leg. <laughs> sweep the leg. This is the this is the dungeon of Cobra Kai. Uh, Varla, would you like to do something from a distance, or would you like to keep the door open or let it close? Yeah, Varla, you see her tongue sticking out again, and she's like leaning forward with her leg to hook anything she can. And nothing's working. Uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come out. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna attack, right? 15 bonus for the uh, flanking. Absolutely. And... Big money, big money. Do that. His thick hide, as shrunken <laughs> as it is, has multiple nicks and cuts in it. And Kamau is able to add another cut to it. Ooh. That was a substantial hit. Um, the uh, petrified man is is certainly looking uh, like he is he is running out of strength. His undead strength is beginning to wane. Ooh. Do it. And I'll jump to the next person. There we go. Petrified man with Nino on deck. Well, he has had enough of this. Uh oh. Oh, hello. It's time to get rid of this fighter in front of him. Which one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The cat man. Uh oh. Don't like that. No, 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 and oh, you God. can see that his, his teeth are wet and shiny. Don't like Ew. bad touch. <laughs> as he as he roars his raspy roar, you can see spittle coming out. And yeah. when the spittle touches the ground, it turns to smoke. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. When the smoke clears, there's a small pile of maggots. And he Ew. tries to bite you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that's pretty This is Ico. Yeah, this uh -oh. is me. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Have... We'll take it. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to re-roll that. That was my fault. <laughs> no. We'll take it. <laughs> Maggot mouth. Maggot mouth. You know, it's it's a it's something that uh, it happens every now and then to the best of us, but you know, it's bad with old age. Oh boy. Bad touch. Mm -mm. Uh, -oh. uh why didn't that resolve? I've got you targeted. To roll it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the target and roll it again. Oh. I don't know why that wouldn't have worked. For some reason, I can no longer target you. Untargetable. We're targeting him. I know. Re so we try doing it the old fashioned way control click. Yeah, I used the last one, 84. Oh, shit. Okay, apparently uh, the game has decided to become broken. I'm just going to use the first roll because that was somewhere in the middle. Uh, uh, what's your defensive bonus? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what's your That's defensive bonus? Sorry, where do I look? I gotta look on my main character, right? Yep. Uh, defensive bonus, defensive bonus. Where the hell is this? It's under combat, right? Combat tab bottom, yeah. At the bottom, you say? Bottom yep, right. yep. Defensive. Combat tab bottom right. Why am I not seeing one? It's under armor type. Armor type. 13 for chain? Is that what I'm looking yep. at? And then total. And is there any kind of a defensive bonus listed? I guess I could actually open up your character and look. Doesn't... Just being a lazy GM. Total. Yeah, oh, stop right being side. lazy. Help me. Plus 10? Is that the total? Um, uh, plus 10. Yep, it is plus 10 because you don't have a shield in your hand. 
So his 113 becomes a 103. Uh, which is uh, your armor. Nine points of damage and an A crush critical. Oh. So if you could manually give yourself nine points of damage. I can and I will. Oh, you bastard. You guys. That's high. We don't like that. Yeah, but you've got lots of hit points, so I'm sure you're going to be fine. I doubt it. <laughs> I got the zombie maggots inside of me. Ew. Yeah, that that could be a problem. <laughs> Should get tested for that. <laughs> he bites you in the arm. Um, but he's not able to break uh, to uh, get through your armor. You take six more hits. You are stunned for two rounds. And you are bleeding at one point per round. Hmm. Bleeding, okay. Um, I can add those effects to you if you'd like, because I sure. know that. Uh... Why does it say that Noah's dead? Oh, just because I put uh, the damage too high as I was correcting it. it... Oh. Oh. Wouldn't have there. that anymore, but. There. No, you're just bleeding. So he didn't pierce skin? No, uh, according to the critical, he did. I'm sorry, because there's bleeding damage. Um, could you give me a disease resistance oh, roll, please? Oh, no. Oh, boy. That's... Uh, On the front page of your character. <clears throat> front page. Disease. There it right. is. Yeah. Pray for me. Yeah. You want Pray. high. Uh, yeah, yeah. Say, uh, I'm praying for you. Talking yeah, I guess I'm gonna say a quick prayer to uh, my god, Do you god, want Lura. this in the tower? Just so we don't know what it is? That's... That is correct. Alright, alright. Disease, right? Disease. Good luck. Lord, look after Kamau. This is where the GM gets to be evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> GMs are not evil. Mm, no. The only thing that's evil is Nino, you're up. See? See how it just passes with no information? That's Wait. why you want it in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I prepped my power attack last turn. So I'm going to go for the stab. Um, do I get a flank on this? Uh, you are now in a flank. Okay. And then I have a minus 20 for my power attack, correct? Correct. So we start off with seeing if your power attack works. Right. Hey, where are you, power attack? Wait. There it is. It does not. Not at all. <laughs> all righty then. Okay. So All right, got my flank, flank is a plus 15 bonus. You okay. can click on the flanky button, or you can just write in 15 in the modifier box in the bottom left corner underneath okay. the chat box. Flank has been clicked. Big! Yes! Woo! Mm. Aw, yeah, G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I found... Never mind. What? I found out why it wasn't uh, resolving. The window was just hidden, and for some reason, it it should always come to the front, and it wasn't. Oh. So I didn't have to do that manually, but. But now you know. Yay! Lessons learned. Mm -hmm. You do six points of damage, and a B puncture critical. He is dead. Unfortunately. It's a critical, and he's petrified. It takes two levels of crit reduction, so it doesn't suffer the critical. However, when you sink your sword into it, it arches its back and falls over motionless. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Killed by the thief. Yay! Uh, I poke him with my 
shoe just to make sure he's dead. <laughs> uh, we should do one of a couple of things. Uh, either mm -hmm. drag them out into the sunlight, salt and burn their bones, or soak them in holy water. We can do all I, of them. Uh, I'm not <laughs> screaming, but I am breathing in pain. Okay. Oh. Yes. Arla, yes. could you give me a perception roll, please? I'll give you one of these, too, just okay. if I know how to dispose. Uh, here's perception. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna come out. Oh, fuck you, Toggle. Oh, go fuck yourself. Is that to a cat or to the GM? <laughs> that, is, that is to my cat, Toggle. <laughs> Who just, just came up onto the desk and bit me. What? Oh God. You're not paying oh my, enough no. attention to your kit kitty. That is true. He wants to play. Mm -hmm. so, However, yeah. he is now indicating he wants to play rough, and so now he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so I will actually share that. Sorry. Are you biting yourself? Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, smash them into little bits. Oh, okay. the bodies? Yes, and, and we should burn them. Okay. What You want to burn them in the middle? Let's drag them to the middle. All right. Uh, I would burn. like to use my last PowerPoint to cast Healing One on Kamau. Yay. Oh, was anybody hurt? I was a little hurt. As I change my accent again. <laughs> nice I have. Love. Yeah, I got hurt. Might Let's be um, call it right here because the oh, combat yeah. is done and, and this is a great place to uh, pick it up next next bat time, next bat channel. Okay. All right, yes. Um, it's 8.30, mm -hmm. uh, which is oh, dark 30 for you guys. Um, so if this is an okay place for everyone. Yeah. yeah it works for us. Whoever okay. was hurt, we should burn them too. <laughs> I've had just about enough of you. <laughs> Thanks Absolutely. for the game. I think that's definitely where we should where we should uh Ashes. what we should do. Yeah. Definitely I, I'm wrong also. this time. I must have been wearing like a cat nip necklace or something. Oh nice. I'm uh, I'm fine with also burning the wounded. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> purify. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, um, do we have any potential dates for next time? Um, I oh, have it my... there. Okay. Thank you so much for watching the video. After I get these uploaded someday soon, uh, there's a little bit of a difference in the in the way these are saving, and they're not going on to Twitch normally, so I might have to post these to to YouTube instead, but I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll upload the three episodes that I've got burning a hole in my pocket. You guys take care. Happy gaming. Chat at you soon. <laughs>